Hello, hello! Welcome, welcome everyone! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good time zone, good everywhere you are in the world. <laughs> How's everybody doing today, huh? How are you all doing today? I want to see you all in chat, come on! <laughs> good time zones, ooh! Good time zones for sure. Ah, oh, I wish the day comes where there is only one time zone. It sucks. It sucks doing stuff with different time zones. <laughs> uh, hope you're all doing amazing, though. Um, it's been a while since the last stream because, um, you know, we streamed a little earlier yesterday. We were playing some, some content warning. Definitely some content in there. <laughs> it was a very fun game. It was a very, uh, I, I really want to play it again. Hopefully, uh, when the, the five or more player mod comes back. Uh, because I really want to have all of Avalon included there. We, we kind of, we, you know, you, we couldn't play with each other, like, all of us. But it still was a fun time having everybody in voice chat and, you know, seeing the interaction. It was, it was just so fun. I, th I thought I was going to lose my voice. I forgot for a second. I was like, wait a minute. I have a karaoke at the end of this week. I can't be screaming like this. In fact, my voice is still kind of like, Ugh, you know. <laughs> so I got to... I gotta relax. I gotta relax and, and, and chill. I gotta chill for a second. <laughs> but anyways, my name is Lucian Anaris from FSB EN's first generation Avalon. It's very nice to see you all here. VODGang07 in the chat. Thank you so much for watching the VOD. If you have been watching the VOD, I, I want you to comment something nice. Something nice. Anything nice. Whatever you can think of. Maybe something regarding the video, like, oh my god, who's your favorite Genshin character? Is it Nuvelit? Is it Kazuha? Is it Xiao? Maybe, maybe it's, it's Ito. Who knows? Just comment. <laughs> and yeah, and, and, and all of you, all of you right now watching, this is probably a bad idea, but what's your favorite character? What's your favorite Genshin character? I want to know. Nuvelit? Yeah, because he's lit. <laughs> uh... I, I do want to get him. Today is my... I, I finally got my pity. Uh, I'm getting my pity today. Hutao. New Vikaya. Child. I think Child is pretty good. Wander. There's actually some characters that I didn't even know existed. Um, I have new characters that I did not know existed. Uh, in my in my character pool. You're my favorite character, Genshin character. Huh? <laughs> Wait, if I was a Genshin character, what, um... What, how do you call him again? What, um, thingy would I be? What elements? Or vision? What vision would I be? Pyro. Is it because I'm red? Is it because I'm red? Pyro. Dark power. Wait, there's, there's, there's dark power? Pyro. Yeah, it's because I'm red, right? It's because I'm red! <laughs> what about all of Avalon, though? I want to know what, what, um, let's start with Cass. What would, oh, obviously, I think Cass would be Dendro, right? Like, super, super easy to say. Cass would be Dendro, yeah. What about Roscoe, though? What would Roscoe be? Wait, no, actually, Cass could be Animo. But I think Dendro fits him the best. What about Roscoe, though? Roscoe would be Electro? Hey, Roscoe would be Geo. Electro. I see a lot of Electros in chat. What about Zanny? What would Zanny be? Xander Netherbrand. What would he be? Would he also be Electro? But we should, like, have different ones, no? Do we have two Electros? Electro 2. Zanny would be Hydro or Electro. Hydro. Uh, I feel like Captain could be Hydro. Or he could also be Geo, right? What about Gale? Gale. What would Gale be? Zanny could be Geo too. Zanny 100% Electro. Geo. Yeah, Gale has to be Geo. I feel like Geo and uh, Hydro would fit him definitely, like both of them. Because he's a pirate. Is there a character that's a pirate in Genshin Impact? I mean, aside from like Kaya looking pirate, you know, like an actual pirate character in Genshin. You're not bald? I'm not bald. Uh, Beidou. Oh, Beidou is actually a pirate. Hmm, interesting. 
Uh, I guess because of lore stuff, Beidou is Electro. <clears throat> I think Beidou is super fun. I'm 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 sad that we we had to leave her behind. Oh, I didn't. I don't know if I told you, but I I, I replaced Beidou. I am now using Zhang Zhang Li Zhang Ling Zhang Ling. Is that her name? Zhang Ling. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Those names are very very hard to pronounce. Yes, I changed my team again a little bit. Uh, I'm still using uh, Sincho. I'm still using Kaya, and I'm still using Fischl. I don't know what I'm going to do today. I'm definitely getting a 5-star today. But which one? We don't know. What am I going to replace in my team? We don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen today. Uh, so here's the plan. Today's plan is going to be the following. I am... 10 to probably 15 pulls away from my pity. If I don't get Nuvalit or Nuvalet or Nuvalet, or I don't know what his name is, I will I will swipe the card. I will swipe the card. I will. I will swipe the card. You know what that means, right? That means like 90 more wishes. 90 more wishes. I will. I'll do it. I will. <laughs> Chi Chi? What? No, no, no. If I get Chi Chi, I quit. Like, there, there, okay, there's three situations here. Three situations happening. I get Nuvelet. I buy Nuvelet. <laughs> or I get Chi Chi and I quit Genshin forever. <laughs> Emergency gacha funds. You know, actually, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you for the super, Hosaki. Thank you for the super. Uh, let me just, I'm going to long into Genshin and, and I will do my dailies. I will do part of the story. And after I'm done with that, I will be pulling. I will be pulling with the max amount of wishes that I have. Right now, I already have 10 wishes, but I'm not going to wish yet because we got to leave the, in the, the intense, the um, suspense till the end. Gambling edition. Listen, listen, there's no reason to keep playing this game if I don't get the character I want. You know what I mean? Do you understand? Do you do you get me? Sin X. Thank you for the Moomba. Welcome, welcome to the Moomba ship. If you lose, you get guaranteed for any future banners. That's true. But I guess it depends. Okay, there's this actually. Okay, here, here. Hear me out. Hear me out. We got four outcomes. Okay, we got four outcomes. One, we get Nuvelet. We're all happy. Two, I buy Nuvelet. And we're all happy. Three, I get a five star that's actually good and I like. And I don't need to buy anything else. Or spend anything else. And four, I get Chi Chi and I quit Genshin Impact forever. All right, those are the four outcomes. Also, we get we can get some uh, some more from the cats. There, there's like a cat event going on, like a kitty 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 events. All right, let's do our dailies first. We do dailies, dailies. Super quickly. I have to explore so much. Yeah, I love this cat event. It's very cute. It's very cute. <laughs> Why are you moaning like that? You can pet the cats. I can. Actually, I got pretty good at it. What is this? Where is is it down here? Or is it up here? I can't tell where it is. I don't think it's up here because I would have gone the quest. Alright. Uh yeah, it's What the heck is this? Huh? This was that like an achievement? What? What the frick? Catch the Talia, thank you for the soup. I'm sending a good luck because I am going to the airport. Oh, have a safe trip. Oh, this is the one. 
I don't like this one. I've done this like two times already. Have a safe trip though. Thank you so much for coming by. And I hope everything goes well. Oh wait, wait, wait. Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? No. Yeah, I didn't make it. Okay, okay. Um I've done this before. I've done this before. This is easy. We are getting new villettes regardless. I, I know, I feel it in my bones. It's the luck. Wait, where? Oh, it's up here. Damn. Okay. Um, ah! By the way, is my mic okay? Is, is there like any reverb? I feel like I always keep forgetting if like I leave my reverb on. Professional streamer, of course. Is it up here? Wait, was it up here? No, I'm in the wrong one. Oh, it's right there. That's where it is. Okay, this is actually very easy. It's all good. Thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, by the way, also something very... Oh, wait, wait, hold on. What's the hurry? Oh, I think I messed up. Something very cool. Um, I've been I've been recording again for another short cover, so can be pretty fun. I think I messed up. Yeah. Got it! Nice! Oh my god. That was close. That was very close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this one actually will come out very, very soon. This short cover. I'm just, uh, I just need to record some other things and, like, it'll probably not take too long. I wanted to record yesterday to like finish it, right? Uh, however, the problem was that for some reason there was like some some weird some weird car like being super loud outside yesterday. Like they wouldn't stop uh, honking for like straight like two hours. I was like, what's going on outside? I don't understand. I don't understand people that just honk their car like their 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 honk or whatever it's called. I don't understand why they do that. Like, what do you get from it? Especially when I'm like... When I'm on a car, right? And uh, you're like at a traffic light. And then people just like hunk at you like... What, what do you expect me to do? Like, do you want me to fly above the cards? Like, like, do you want me to like, I don't know, push everyone aside? Like, open sesame? Something like that? Like, uh, you know what I mean? And the rights, the, the lights are red. The lights are red. Like, what do you expect me to do? Like, if you want, you can just fly. Nobody's stopping you. Freeze. Oh, so sorry. No rest for the wicked. I don't really like the time. Oh, we can also try Spiral Abyss today to get to get more Primos. Uh. By royal decree. It's gonna be hard though. I already tried doing uh, Spiral Abyss off stream, and it was it was very hard actually. Even after changing to Shenling. Oh, this guy. What the frick? No, here. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Well, that was actually more difficult than it... I actually made it more difficult than it should have been. Spiral Abyss is the hardest part of the game. I heard that it was actually its end game, right? So it makes sense. It makes sense. But that that's pretty cool. At least the game is not easy. Ha. 
Ooh, free chest. Let's go down there. Oh, it's not. Oh, that's not free. Freeze. This moment will be frozen. By royal decree. That is not free at all. Maybe that'll hit him. Oh god, that's a lot of damage. No rest for the wicked. Oh, that hurts. Okay, this is not as hard as I, I thought it would be. There we go. Kill him! Oh, that hurts. I'm gonna die. Is this... This is not even the... How is this just a level, like, a low-level chest? Push your luck. How is this just a low-level chest? Eh? You better give me, like, 40 for that. Two? What? Bro, two for that? Let's go this way. What's the hurry? That's actually a scam. That was hard. That was hard. Hi, Lucy. I stopped by to say hello, but I have to go to sleep. Good night. Can't you be scamming sometimes? Honestly. I remember saying when I first started playing this game like four weeks ago. I remember saying two is like nothing, but now I'm I'll take anything, bro. Oh wait, another puzzle. <laughs> now I'll take anything. <laughs> oh wait, what? Where does this go? Where does this go? Oh, I thought that was like a puzzle, no? I guess I guess not. Unless there's like something else that I'm missing? I mean, these two are already in here. Maybe it's like... Oh, I think I already did that one. Yeah, I think that I already did that puzzle. Mm -hmm. I was just confused. Oh, it's one of these? Okay. That's the skill. The chili... Chili churls. <laughs> the chili churls. I call them differently again. <laughs> they're spicy. Yeah, they're spicy. That's why they're chili churls. Okay, these are actually kind of tanky, though. Oh! Come here! Cool it! Don't get frostbite. By royal decree. I really wish I had like a melee kind of character. Well, I mean, I do have one. It's just I don't think it's good against fire, obviously. Ah! That hurt. Wait, there's more! But I want to grab this first, though. Where, where is it? Oh, it's that guy again. Take that. It's your turn to die. Oh, this is not even the... There's another wave after this. No, why are you attacking that? Stop, get him. Nice. Oh, he's coming. Why? Let me weave you up. 
Alright, nice. See, like, sometimes we do a lot of damage. It really depends. If I get to use all my abilities, then I'm good. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Alright, we good with that. We need one more. The last one's over here. Then we do the kitties. We do the little, little cute kitties. And then we start the story again. Uh, where is it down here? Catch the wind. Have you leveled up their talent? Uh, I don't think so. Because I don't know anything about it, to be honest. So I didn't want to waste materials on things that I don't think I will be using. But once I get my 5 star, I feel like I'm gonna, I, I know what my team is going to look like. Where do I go now? That's far away. Oh. I guess I'm flying there. I don't think I'll make it. That's fine. We can just walk. It'll be fun to get someone who knows about Genshin to teach you. Well, Kaz does. Kaz uh, instructs me sometimes. He tells me what's good and what's what's not. He's the one that built this team for me. Pretty much. He told me what to... Ooh, that's a big chest. Hold on. I need this chest. But first... I want to get that guy down. Ugh, I hate these. No, my sword. Cool it. This moment will be frozen. By royal decree. Okay. Oh my god, he's so tanky. Midnight Phantasm. They're all so tanky. Dodge this. There we go. Where is he going? Where's blood going? Come here. Come closer. Come closer. Please come closer. There you go. All right. Nice. Nice. Yeah. No. Geo. Geo shields are really annoying. Especially because I don't have anything like, you know, I don't have a Geo character, so it's it's kind of hard for me. Oh, that's it? Wow. How much does this give me? Destiny has brought me hither. Five? Only five? Only only one digit? For that? You don't have Noel yet? Um, I don't wanna I do have her, but I don't wanna like put her on my team. I don't think she's that good. Oh guys, I'm gonna drown. Chat, I'm drowning, chat, I'm drowning. No, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, it's another chest. But do I wanna for five? I don't know about that. Only if I need five later. Ooh, wait, I can grab that. Oh, maybe not. Is this like a puzzle? Ah, oh, of course. Of course. Okay. Can I cheat this? Characters can't climb that. Oh. Oh, I activated it by accident. Whoopsie. No, my sword. Witness the power. Nice and spicy. Eat this. Dodge this. By royal decree. No rest for the wicked. Frostbite. Rain outlines your. Is that it? Oh, that was it? Oh, yeah, that was it. Okay. So, let's see. How do I get this, though? Like, I know the answer to this. I, I, I know how to do it easily. It's just that I don't want to swap characters. Oh, my God. 
Alright, if I don't get it on the next try, I'm swapping characters. There's still a long road. What? Is he too tiny? Is he too tiny? Oh, no. Oh, oh. oh, God. Terra Smash! There you go. I'll keep this Ooh. close. That was crazy. That was definitely something. This will be interesting. Wait, what is this meal? <gasps> oh, I got some scrolls or whatever that is. Now we go back to the inn. Some quests do be really annoying, to be honest. Some dailies are like really annoying. I think I also ran into into a quest that I couldn't even do. Is it done? Yes. Oh, it's Charlotte's Charlotte's birthday? Who is who's that? What character is that? This is why you do dailies in Mondstadt? Oh, you're right. I mean that wouldn't be a bad idea, honestly. Is there any difference from doing them in Mondstadt and uh Leo? A journalist from Fun journalist from Fontaine. They are easier. Okay. Maybe I should do that next time. Add Astro. Thank you for comp. Free! Add Astra Abyssa. Add Astra Barbecue Sauce. We dispatch. Claim, dispatch. Claim, dispatch. And then I'm gone. Off to. Mods that to the cat cafe. We're about to see some cute kitties. Bum, 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 ba, dum, bum, bum, bum. Some cute kitties. Don't look at my place. It's it's nasty. It doesn't look that good. Uh, so this is what I do. I just usually just like start spamming these and then eventually like I'll get it. You know, there's one more Okay, so this one doesn't work Clearly that one doesn't work either more difficult. Hmm, I see. Hold on, what if I do something else here? Let's see. Let's try one, two, three, four. Which one is the one that gives a lot? Comfiness. Let me check. Let me check the comfiness first. Maybe I need to use some logic here. No comfiness, no... Oh, that's a lot of comfiness. This one gives a lot, so this one and this one gives a lot of comfiness. Uh... That's interesting. I am new here. Me too! This is my first time in this cafe. I'm, I'm new here. Nice to meet you, everyone. My name is Lucian Lunaris. Oh, I forgot about this one here. A lot of comfiness. We need more and more chill confidence. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, there you go. This one, this one. Um, then we choose. Nice. Damn, that was totally not scripted. Okay. Let's go. Wait, here. Damn, that's loud. Is 
This is so cute. <laughs> Let me get the scratchies. Come on, give me more points. There we go. Now over here. Hey, he doesn't like it, doesn't like it. They don't like it, they don't like it. On the tail, yeah, let's go keep going the tail. Okay, now the little paws. Maybe they like the... No, they don't like the paws. Maybe the front paws. Maybe you like the front paws. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, 40, let's go. The other one? Nice! What about your ears? Your little cute ears. Come on, give me some points. Oh, they don't like the ears. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What about over here? Nice. Good, good, good. What about the other side? Let's see. Nothing. What about over here? No, he didn't like that last time. What about... Nice. I want to keep going. I want to keep going. Um, Your cheeks. Nice. What about your other... You like on your nose? Maybe? Maybe on your... No. On your... Why was that a 40, bro? Why was that a 40? Literally just one touch and it gives me 30 and 40. What? No way I'm gonna max it out. <laughs> Yo, that's kind of sus. That's kind of sus. yo. That's wild. That's actually wild. You know what? I get my primos. I get my primos. Not even gonna complain. Oh, this is not the exit. Is it over here? It's not over here. I'm lost, guys. I'm lost. Where where do I go? Oh, this way. Alright, time to get to the to the to the thing. To the thing. The story. We gotta go to Mount The Floating Palace. That's where we have to go. I'm excited. I'm excited to know what next part of the story we will unfold. Is always far more effective in the rain. Oh, going to get that's a... Wait, this might be good, though. I might be... I might actually do this one easy. Shadow Aisha, thank you for the super. Thank you, thank you. Alright, come on. Get your HP bar. Freeze. Yeah, this is gonna be easy. I just dodge. Oh my god. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Look at me. Oh, I missed. He's coming. He's coming for me. No. Never mind. Never mind. I just panicked. Any dead, nice. Destiny has brought me. Ah, I gotta heal again, don't I? Yeah, okay. Ooh, this is like high level or something. I got two primos from that though. That was good. Why is it? Why was it raining here? That's so weird. It's only here that's raining. Where are we going though? Is the question. Is that a big chest? How do I get there? I have to climb all the way up. Maybe through the... Wait. Yeah, maybe through the left side. Oh, there seems to be something inside. Hmm. Ooh, that's a lightning. It's a lightning. Yeah, seems to be like a normal thing in Liyue to uh, to climb a lot. Oh, come on, buddy! You know, you're, I'm not even in your vision. Ooh, what's this? Hold on, I have an idea. Ha! 
Oh, what? It didn't break it. Why am I climbing it? <laughs> there you go. Uh, how do I go up? There you go. I think climbing is the hardest thing in this game. Hands down. It would be very, very, very nasty and unlucky if I get hit by a lighting, lightning here. That would be the worst luck ever. It's just kind of like giving me a sign. It's like, you're not winning your 50-50. And then I get hit by a lightning. <laughs> Ooh. It's the Jade Chamber. Oh my god, imagine a lighting hits while I'm in the cutscene. <laughs> that would be so funny. That's pretty high up. Hmm. Uh, uh, this is bad. Paimon's supposed to be your guide, but Paimon doesn't know where the way up to the Jade Chamber is. You're only realizing that now? Location on the map is the sensible thing to do. Let's look around. There has to be a way up there nearby. Hmm, there has to be a way up. I feel like you can't just go there by normal meanings, right? Oh, never mind, you can't. There's like that platform over there with a chest. Something tells me that I have to go here. Now I don't know what it is. No, I don't have an animal. I don't know, I do have an animal character. Hold on. Are they gonna hey, do it for me? Look. Maybe they are. There's some sort of mechanism thingy. Yeah, it's a club. Since this is the right place, it must have something to do with the Jade Chamber. Maybe it's the way the Jade, the way to the Jade Chamber. Yes, this must be the way. All oh, right, I know what to do here. I know what to do here. I have to change my character. Um, let's change Kaya and. Oh, this character. I don't know what character this is. I've never seen this character before in my life. Sure. I'll hang out with you, young. There we go. Hatsune Miku. if that wind current was stronger, we'd be able to reach the top in one go. You know what's kind of funny though? Um, so I did the cat quest, like the the event, right? And Paimon sounds different from the story. I think it, you're not supposed to do that quest <laughs> yet. Huh? Why? The way up shouldn't be a secret, or. If it was a secret, Ganyu wouldn't have let us try to find it ourselves, right? Alright, let's follow your plan. Then we can Yeah, she sounds high pitched in the in the cat event. Oh. Hang on a moment. Look down there. And then I met um Rosaria. Is that her name? I met Rosaria and I didn't even know that was a character. And, and they, they the the traveler and Paimon called her, oh, Rosaria. Like, like I knew her from, like, years ago, and I, I don't even know who she is. So I feel like I got spoiled. Looks like we've gotten close to the Guizhong Ballista. Hmm. <gasps> Paimon, why don't we shoot you up to the Jade Chamber using the Ballista? That's a good idea. Very dangerous. I don't like it. Do you really hate me that much? Uh about the safety measures. Still, I do remember that the ballista had a scope. Oh, that's right! Now that you mention it, we could use the Guizhong ballista to see if there's another way up nearby! Okay. So I have to go down there. I just came here for a chest. That's probably not even two primos. She's kind of cute, though. Um... Let's go. Ready when you are. Ready when you are. What is that? <laughs> Quite Only two. Defined. So where do I have to go? All the way here. <gasps> so 
So what, are they gonna shoot me through the ballista? <laughs> you thought he said it twice. <laughs> What's the hurry? Let's go down. Oh, it's right there. I see it. Oh, I think they are gonna shoot me through the ball ballista. That sounds dangerous. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm not the kind of person that you'd shoot through a ballista. Oh, there's people there. Do we have to talk to them? I guess we do. Halt! Who trespasses on these hallowed grounds? Your mom! Exactly. What are you talking exactly. about? Exactly. We're invited guests. What makes you think you can treat us like this? No. Wait. Maybe this was Ningwan's plan all along. She pretended to invite us to the Jade Chamber, but set up a megalith ambush here to arrest us! <gasps> True. That would be really sad. I'm quite sure that's not the case. Uh, now Paimon's mad! You! Over there! This is a trick, isn't it? How shameless! What? We're just on guard duty. What do you mean, shameless? What nonsense! Seize these suspicious intruders at once! Well, here they come! Line oh up, no! Down. Damn the growl! Jeez! Oh! Oh wait, they're strong. By royal decree. Or so that I think. No, they're falling! I'm falling with you! Damn, ruthless. Alright, teleport me back. What do you mean there's more? Bro, there's more. I look so cool, and then they just bring more. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, free. <gasps> Dodge this. I hate those kind of chests. They're scams. All right, go back up, back up, back up. How do we go back up? This way, maybe, maybe. Clearly, yes. There you go. Save a little stamina. That takes a long time. Ooh, okay. I'm sure that was not supposed to happen, but I'll call it noob's luck. Hey, over here. No, you go this way. Yeah, there you go. That way. And you stay there. Cool it. Who goes there? Reveal thyself. Take the target alive. Midnight Phantasmagoria. These are so tanky. Let me leave you off the trees. Oh, so sorry. Your toast! Nice and spicy. No, my sword. No, no, don't go that way. Don't fall again. Alright, nice. Take the who alive? Oh, tactical. Tactical what? Yeah, get electro charge. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. No! <laughs> I fell. Bro, stop going on the edge! Why do you love the edge so much? Isn't the game loud? I think it might be a little too loud. No! Oh my god! Why is he hiding? 
bastard. All right, there you go. Let me just put it down a little bit. There's more? Well, I can't fight all of these people. They're actually kind of powerful. Oh, look at that. That was cool. These are probably harder than any boss that I fought in any, I fought in any game before. They're so tanky. There you go. Is that the last one? Are you guys the last ones? Thank you. Oh my god. Stop. What's all this about? Who's this? Lady Coaching. 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 Suddenly appeared. Like like they a seem to have like a register, like a cash register. Coaching. Who are you calling strange? We were just looking for the way to the Jade Chamber. Hmm? You want to go to the Jade Chamber? Have we seen this character before? Oh, I don't remember yeah. this character. We were invited guests here to look for the Lyria Chising. Is that a five star? Uh, <laughs> Catching. Well, as it happens, I am one of the Liyue Chising. Oh. Oh. I'm Kuching, the Yuhung of the Chising. Kuching? So it's Kuching, Kaching. Which one's the right pronunciation, guys? Come on. Of you traveler, you're Ningguang's guests, yes? Didn't expect to meet you here in the mountains. Wow. Cutting, cutting. Paimon didn't think we'd meet some super rich big shot out here in the middle of nowhere either. The Guizhong Ballista in Tianhung Pass has long been in disrepair, and yet it was fixed in a single night. I came here to investigate that occurrence. These Millilith are just here to guard the scene. Not to arrest anyone. So this was all a misunderstanding? Yes, Paimon. Thinking isn't that hard, Paimon. Anyway, for a mortal to be able to repair an Adepti mechanism is quite the mystery. Even to the Chising. Wait, is, is catching one of the characters that you can get in the banner? One of the five star you can get in the banner if you lose the 50-50? Shh, Paimon, don't complicate the matter. Huh? Oh, right. So oh no, is she good at least? Might is she good at least? Lady Tian Chen invited us to go to the Jade Chamber? Just call me Kuching. She is? Okay. I'd say that Ningguang's purpose is to request that the savior of Mondstadt take a more neutral stance. Or at least, to not wholly side with the Adepti. We're not taking sides. We spoke with the Adepti. They want to protect Liu as well. <clears throat> I feel like we're on the last part. On the last part of the Geo Arcan quest, right? I think this when is the last part. Protect, you're referring to their sanctimonious arrogance, aren't you? Huh? I feel like you it's gone for so long, though. Under their protection. There was naturally, they would also regard Ningguang's locking down the area, questioning the citizenry, and pursuit of the assassin to be pointless work. Perhaps they even wonder if there might be a cover up. Wait, does that mean that we are, like, after Li Yue, we have to go to Inazuma? Is that the next one? I'll say it like it is. They're underestimating us. I heard a lot of people talking about Inazuma. Well, you've got Especially when doing uh, dailies. People talk about Inazuma. Still, a lot. This is and Sh Sh Shunaya. Shunaya. Those two, those two, like people talk about a lot. <laughs> Should I respect the shallow sense of time and condescension to mortals that has caused them to delay in moving against us, Chising? Forget it. I shouldn't speak of them this way. This skepticism is mine alone, and Ningguang does not share it. Either way, I will admit that the actions of the Adepti this time were quite restrained. Rex Lapis's death is indeed an extraordinary circumstance. 
But to think that they would call for a council of adepti rather than come down here directly. How surprisingly civilized of them. Any chance you could talk it out with them? Well, for Ningguang, she would talk anything and everything out if she could. Bless you, chat. Bless you. Do that here. <clears throat> the time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? <sighs> Another super bold statement. <sighs> I'll stop here. Honestly, I hadn't intended to say so much. But you're a good listener, Traveler. Thanks. Thanks. You should both be off to the Jade Chamber. Don't be late now. Ningguang's schedule is packed to the gills all the way till next year. The cream of Liyue's mercantile crop all see ascending to the Jade Chamber is the greatest honor. Each brings rich gifts as they visit, all to curry a little favor with Ningguang. No way, we have to we have to get some gifts for Ningguang. Favor? Paimon, that's not the point. What? We need to get one. Not to curry favor or anything, just to respect Liu's culture. Ah, oh, so eager. All right, all right. You can decide on your greeting gift yourselves. Let me tell you how to get to the Jade Chamber first. You didn't actually have to come to Mount Tianhong. Go back to Liyue Harbor. Find a guide at the Yuehai Pavilion, and... Well then... May we meet again, Traveler? How am I supposed to know if I don't hear the whole well, story? Yu Hung may not respect the gods, but Paimon thinks she's a pretty cool person. She made a good impression on me too. So, what should we give to Ningguang when we see her? You really have shifted focus, haven't you, Paimon? Oh, right! Paimon dreamed of an amazing snack last night! Sugar frosted slime! That sounds good. person like Ningua. <clears throat> Super rich person. Why don't we go with that for a gift? So, do you have a recipe? Nope. But Byron's sure that we just need to make it with some boom shakalaka. <laughs> Let's go gather ingredients. Time waits for no one, and neither will our riches. Got to get some boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. Uh, okay, we're gathering materials, I guess. You love the way she talks? I think Paimon's very funny. She can be annoying uh, a lot. I don't think she's as annoying as Navi. Um, you know, the, the little fairy from uh, Zelda. But... I think she's funny. At least she's got personality. Highly dangerous. Ooh, look at that slime! It looks crystal clear! And very delicious! That's the one! It looks delicious? Did she just say the slime looks delicious? Oh, there's more than just... There's more. Oh, there's gonna be bandits here too. No! Of course. Of course there would be. Huh? Is it just Paimon? Or is there a sweet fragrance in the air? Huh? Did you hear that? It sounded like someone calling for help. Oh, this is like the filler episode. Uh -oh. I get it. It looks like the treasure orders have locked someone inside. It's the filler episode. Huh? Let's kill the big one first. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Um, okay, it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. All right. Well, I guess I didn't get the big one first, but let's try to kill this one. I feel like I should have gone everyone, but I guess not. 
There we go. That's a lot of damage. No rest for the wicked. Hold on, let me get this guy. There you go. One down. Three more to go. Did they just multiply or is that my imagination? Why are they running away? Oh my god. You know what? Maybe maybe this will do something. Hold on. If they touch the water, do they just die? No? I guess not. They're cheating. I like this character. He just pushes people away. Okay, nice. Oh, we needed that. Wait, there's more? What the? Where did you come from? Huh? Oh, wait, no, that was not it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where did that little chili churl come from? <sighs> Thank you for your help, kind travelers. If you hadn't come to my aid, I surely would have rotted in this cell. Those treasure hoarders. When their mood was good, they'd rearrange those pots of sweet flowers. When they were in a bad mood, they rearranged my face. Mm. That sounds oh, painful. Nothing. No need to thank us all at once or anything. <laughs> uh, I understand. Don't worry. I will compensate <clears throat> you both. Don't say that. I only escaped this predicament because of you. I'm Meng Dan, a supplier for Mingxing jewelry in Liu. <laughs> Maybe this Harbor. is the guy, no? I often walk around these mountains in search of antiques. I never expected that those treasure hoarders would have their eyes on the same ruins that I had. Before I knew it, they'd caught and imprisoned me. Is there anything that you lack? Uh, antiques, treasure, various knickknacks, you name it. Well, as long as you want what I have to offer, of course. Your goodwill is good enough for me. Wait a moment. Actually, we are looking for something. Oh? And what might that be? Do you have a box that can store presents? We'd like a pretty one. The kind that you can use to store snacks. Of course we do. How can one sell antiques without gift boxes? Let's go! We have the best How convenient. gift service in the Seven Nations. Now just give me a moment and I'll let the boss know. You can go see her whenever you require that box. That's uh, strangely convenient. Great. I guess it's plot. Hyman Sugar Frosted Slime now comes in a beautiful package. Do we have to go to Liu and now? Yeah, we do. Let's see. Let's teleport to this one here. It was like a filler episode that turned into the main episode kind of thing. It's like the filler part of the main episode. Uncle Mung already told me about it. Thank you both for saving him. Many of the best goods in our store were found by Uncle Mung. If anything were to happen to him, it would be impossible <clears throat> for us to continue doing business. Here, that looks very this pretty, container though. is itself an antique, with at least 140 years of history. It's already been cleaned. Will it do? Yep, yep, yep! It's great! So that's why we're gonna give Ningguan? I thought we were making some slime thing. Hang on a moment. Can we borrow one other thing? What was that? <laughs> sure. Please help yourselves. <clears throat> as long as it's on our shelves. Traveler, this clay pot looks really awesome. If we use an antique as our mixing bowl, we should be able to make a great snack. Oh, okay. We're still making the snack. 
<laughs> so instead of giving her like all those things, we're giving her a snack. And dust it over with a bit more powdered sugar. Oh yes, you might want to use these two freshly picked flowers as decorations too. Woohoo! It Ooh. looks beautiful. So we made it. I'm still not sold on this gift idea. Great! Now that we've put all that we've got into this box, let's go to the Jade Chamber to see Mingguang. Oh, hold on. We get an achievement, which means more. Let me check how many how many wishes I have. Thousand nine hundred. So. I think I'll be able to pull for 15 because I think that's what I need for pity. 15? About around 15. I think by the end of this like main quest. I'm not even sure if I'll be able to finish the Archon quest today. The Geo Archon quest. We haven't even met Rex Lapis. I think that's why we're going up there, right? According to Kuching, this is what we should say. According to Kuching. Excuse me, do you sell the moon here? No, I'm the moon. Yes. How many would you like? It's not convenient to speak of numbers here. Ah, well said. Please, use this to ascend to the chamber. Ah, uh, yes, speaking of which, are you two the guests that Lady Ningguang has arranged to meet with today? Yep. Let the moonlight guide you. And yet the code they used was not the one for guests, but for the Yuang. What's going on here? Mm hmm? That's sus. Something's gonna happen. <gasps> We're up there. Okay. I thought we would have to actually go up there. I've been Why they gotta do like a leg shot? From Joy Karst? <gasps> it's Ningguang. Since this is our first meeting, um, we've prepared a gift. I hope you like it. Oh, for me. You have my thanks. It seems that I have made things difficult for you, considering that you were supposed to be my guests. Yeah, you should have just brought us here. I don't know, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh no, it's nothing. Nice place. This jade chamber. <laughs> I'm glad you like it too. This palace floats in the skies, higher than the peak of any mountain. From this vantage point, one may survey all of Liyue. I have been gathering the funds necessary to build it from the time I began learning the merchant's craft. And since becoming the Tianchuan, I have spared no effort in hiring the best craftsmen to constantly extend it. At first, it was but the size of one room. Mm. Now, it is large enough to blot out the moon in the skies above Liyue. One day, I believe it will overshadow all seven nations. That's kind of weird. That's like a whole monopoly right there. Trying to make a whole new nation, like a whole new seven nations. Not many from outside Liyue earn the right to ascend to the Jade Chamber. But I have been in correspondence with the acting Grandmaster of the Knights of Favonius, who spoke highly of you. As such, I have been putting eyes and ears out ever since you reached Liyue. What? And I finally got wind of your movements when you were on the way to Wangshu Inn. Uh, wait! Was Vergildet one of your people? <laughs> Just Vergildet? No, everyone at Wangshu Inn is one of ours. <gasps> Even Xiao? <laughs> we also ran into Yu Hong not long ago. At the Guizhang Ballista, yes? <laughs> You weren't peeking on us from the skies the whole time, were you? <laughs> I fear that peeking would have been a little difficult from this altitude. Our eyes and ears are more than sufficient. 
You two are very interesting people, after all. It would be natural to take an interest. Hello, Roscoe Graves. Thank you for the raid and welcome on in, Roscoe's. How's it going? How was how was the game? Uh, difficult game about about climbing. Did Roscoe? Uh, I know Roscoe was stuck at a park for like two hours. So did he finally get out? <laughs> welcome on in. I'm currently playing some Genshin Impact, uh, trying to finish the Geo Archon quest, and then I'll be pulling for my first five star. Finally, getting into pity. He's a liar. <laughs> he was mentally insane. Also, like normal Roscoe. Got it. Ketching said that the Shising would not wish ill on Rex Lapis. Well, I wouldn't expect you to trust us, considering that you have had far more interactions with the Adepti. The reason I invited you here was to clear up some misunderstandings. Roscoe mauled it so hard he turned into a Risco. Yeah, so like normal Roscoe, right? Where? Whoa, she's gonna jump? Oh, I thought she was gonna jump. <laughs> I think she was gonna commit Sudoku. Um, rings a bell. Many gods used to walk this earth, and many long wars were fought between them that did not abate until 2,000 years ago. Much blood was shed, and many lives were lost. In the end, only seven victors remained standing in Tevat. They built cities and nations on the corpses of the vanquished, and thus began the era of the Seven. You can see Goyun Stone Forest from here, I trust. Your Rosita kind of, kind of. It is no natural. She kind of, kind of, you know. Those are giant spears of rock hurled by Rex Lapis during the war. Beneath the spears lie those cast down by Rex Lapis in those days, gods that failed to seize the title of Archon. Not only is it true that gods may die, but so too has the membership of the Seven Chambers. Membership, the Moomba. Somebody said Moomba, Moomba ship. Rex Lapis's passing is an unimaginable disaster for Liyue, but the Order of the Seven will not collapse simply because of that. Another Lord of Geo will arise sooner or later. Oh? Yet, how are we to forget Rex Lapis? When that time comes, the relationship between the people of Liyue and the gods and Adepti will surely be different from before. Oh, interesting. Even in a new era, the Liyue Chising remain Rex Lapis's former subjects. Do you really think us capable of having played a part in his demise? Of lacking the foresight to see the certain repercussions? Why hide the Exuvia then? <laughs> that day at Yujing Terrace, it was also very sudden. Even I was caught completely off guard. You were there, you no doubt saw. But our enemy has long lain hidden within the harbor. If we do not act against them now, they will surely gain the upper hand. Hiding the Exuvia was a necessary maneuver to take the initiative back. To play the spider while our foes scurry about. But who's this enemy you're Yeah, I was gonna about? I was gonna say that. What do you think, traveler? <laughs> it's him. It's him, isn't it? Who wait. Is it child? talking about well answered uh, uh -huh. oh, the scenery out here is fine indeed but the wind he was kind of sus our preparations to receive guests within are complete so please this way man we can't trust anybody I knew it we can't trust Ed Sheeran <clears throat> what a huge wow, that's massive. Never seen such a big Whoa, wait, why? This looks like a whole restaurant. Catch the wind. This is big. And very pretty, too. I want to get this.
Be at ease, you two. Make yourselves at home if you wish. Can we really? I have invited you two here as friends. And when friends come over to play, our enjoyment comes first. Naturally. Is that what I think it is? Ooh, is it this that legendary wall? Why, you've kept your ear to the ground, I see. That's because even the storytellers are talking about it. Everyone's after a piece of paper from that wall. It's super famous. That's because that wall records Leo's secrets. Merchants have always been attracted to secrets. But the secrets of the mercantile world are of no interest to you, are they, Traveler? You're rather special, really, and I think you're quite aware of that. If possible, I'd like to have your trust. But if you were to choose the more trustworthy person between myself and Kuching... Well, between your orthodoxy and her heterodoxy... What the frick is a heterodoxy? <laughs> You'd pick Kuching? Nah, uh, I had a feeling. I originally thought her a bit too hard-headed. With someone of her character on the Chising, I've had some extra messes to clean up behind the scenes. But after she said those words, the time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Chising don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? Well, I must say that quite a few of my doubts have been dispelled. I won't deny that Rex Lapis's passing seems advantageous to us, but for Liyue's sake, we cannot allow ourselves to be shackled by rumors of our usurpation of power. I surmise that the Fatui has a hand in these rumors. Yeah, the Fatui are the enemy. Indeed. It seems that you understood what I meant to say from the very beginning. I called for the gag order and for the Exuvia to be hidden to temporarily stabilize the, the situation. The what order? And also to prevent something similar to the incident in Mondstadt. With Rex Lapis's death, the Fatui have busied themselves with many clandestine actions beyond their diplomatic remit. As the Tianchuan, one responsible for Liyue, I cannot be too concerned with appearances when opposing them. Allowing the rite of parting to take place was also meant to buy some time for us to take control of Liyue's administration. It's so much business going on in Liyue. <sighs> it's exactly as Zhongli said. The Qixing only provided the venue for the rite so they could use us for their own ends. Wait, that's right. Speaking of ends, could I say one other thing? Of course. Paimon's heard that anyone who sends a greeting gift gets a little something in return. So, does that include us? Seriously, Paimon? Seriously? <laughs> it's alright. I like direct people. Well, we have made quite a bit of trouble for you recently. How about this? You can pick any one object here as you please. Wow. you may take it with you. We're gonna be rich! What should we get? <gasps> One of the sheets on that wall. <laughs> Don't look at Paimon like that. One of these sheets of paper will sell for crazy prices, even if it's only as large as Paimon's fingernail. Just imagine how much more a whole untorn sheet would sell for. Let's grab one! The biggest one! Why would you even want to sell that, Paimon? I guess we're taking it! Huh? Well, that was an easy search. The biggest sheet is right up there in the most obvious spot. Let's go with that is one! Is it this one or is it this one? La 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 la. Let's see what's written on it. Huh? There's oh, it's a that one. marked with a circle on here. Oh, could it be treasure? Whatever it is, it better make us filthy rich. Let's see what's written over here. Sigil of permission, something, something, fatui, research, copy. Aw, oh, that doesn't sound like treasure at all. Oh, this piece of paper shows that a chasing spy discovered traces of classified fatui research on the sigil of permission. Oh, Ningguang did say that the Fatui have been up to all kinds of mischief in the shadows of Liyue. 
Okay, Pymo, shut up. Research on the sigil of permission? Pymo wonders what they're up to. Speaking of which, there's also some connection between you and the sigil of permission. Seems there's still more for us to find out. It's all unfolding a little too perfectly. Oh, you really think so? Well, should we not go then? No, what I mean is... Oh, so you're saying that it's precisely because we can't completely trust Ningguang that we should confirm the truth of what she says for ourselves. Yeah, Ningguang is also a little too sussy. It's like everyone in Liu is sussy. You can't trust anyone. Hmm. That's way out of Paimon's league. Paimon thinks she's been nothing but good to us. Mm, anyway, we'll see if you're onto something. Um, before we look for Zhongli at Dihua Marsh, let's go to the place marked out on these papers and see if the Fatui really are up to no good there. Obviously, we can't trust the Fatui at all, but... Also, the people that seem to be, quotation mark, good... ...are not exactly... ...good. They all like, they're all like in the business or something. Like a freaking contract. Oh, we gotta go. Oh, is this where the map says that we should go? Kind of looks like it. It kind of looks like it. Up we go. Kaya has definitely helped me a lot, like, traveling. Because, like, he's tall, you know, I get faster, I can reach places faster. I hope I don't have to replace him. I probably will have to, though. Where is what's this place? Uh, there's a lot of monsters here. <gasps> Was I supposed to come here? Uh-oh. Maybe not, maybe not. I don't I kinda don't wanna f Oh my god, there's so many. I will end Where am I supposed to go? Here? Oh wait, hold on. Maybe I can just hide from them. Uh oh. He's gonna see me! He saw me! Frick. He's so tanky! Wait, maybe if I... Ba -ba Wait, no! He's there! He doesn't move! Wait, these people are so strong! Why are these people so strong, though? Don't get frostbite. Come dodge this. Have a load of this. Whoa! That was a nice dodge. Oh, I almost fell. Oh, there's like something down there. Okay, I think that should be fine. Maybe they will not target me anymore. Or do I really have to kill them all? They'll stop, they'll stop, they'll stop. No, I think that guy's still going to target me. Oh no, they're coming for me! I gotta kill this guy first! <laughs> it's two of them! Oh my god, they're so strong! There's no way I do like no damage to- Oh no, he's healing. Why is he healing? Who's healing that guy? 
Oh my god. No, 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 no. I don't have to fight them. I'm just gonna let them go. Catch the wind. I'm gonna sneak around. I just have to investigate the area. Let me just let me just heal. Let me just heal. They're too strong. They're actually so strong. I'm gonna sneak around. I think I can definitely sneak around, especially from here. This is like the the side where there was no enemies. As long as there's nobody up there. I think I already killed the red one. I don't think it's going to spawn again, right? <gasps> nice. Nice. Looks like they're copying the pattern on the talisman. I haven't seen this pattern before, but where? Have we? Oh, Paimon knows! It looks just like the sigil of permission the child gave you. Hmm, but how did a relic of the Adepti end up in the hands of someone like Child? Oh, that's right. Cloud Retainer said that when the Lord of Geo created the Sigil of Permission, it wasn't to be used as some old relic. Hmm. Talismans like that were once used in the Archon War to channel divine powers. Maybe the Fatui are copying the Sigil of Permission in hopes of achieving a similar effect. Being able to channel divine power in battle? Whew. That sounds pretty dangerous. Seems the Fatui are definitely up to something. And the plot thickens. We'll need to keep an eye on Child, that's for sure. Hmm. Alright, that's enough sticking around here. We gotta go meet up with Zhang Li soon. We still have to meet up with him? I don't trust him either. The last He's kind of sus. The of parting preparations to her is Dihua Marsh. Let's go! Paimon hates being late. Gemini, is that is that how you pronounce your name? Thank you for the super. I'm uh, not the super, the soup, the super Moomba. <laughs> Thank you for the Moomba. Welcome to the Moomba ship. I still gotta get used to that. I still gotta get used to that. Oh, wait, how come I didn't heal? What? Welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy your emotes and your badge. Let me just uh, worship the statue. There you go, now I'm healed. Honestly, all of the people here are just very sus. Oh, I kind of don't want to fight that guy yet right now. Give me a book. Nice. Is that another? Oh, that's Zhongli, okay. I was gonna say, like, is that another enemy? No, you. Hello, Cassian Flores from FSPEN's first generation, Avalum. How's it going? Right on time. I myself only arrived moments ago. Did you enjoy your visit to the Jade Chamber? He sounds like he's, like, the final boss. It was so big and pretty and exciting. Expensive? Paimon's never seen such a fancy schmancy place before. Indeed. It's second to none in all of Liyue. Mickey, thank you so much for the five gift of Moombas. Welcome, welcome to the Moombas. If you got lucky enough to be sniped by the Moombas, please make sure to enjoy your emotes and your badges. And thank you, Mickey. Thank you, thank you. Then you met with Ningguang, I trust? What did you talk about with her? Nuh uh, I'm not gonna tell you. She's super rich and so generous. Oh, Paimon thinks she's very friendly. 
Business people are always friendly when it suits their interest. Yeah, his take on Ningguang is quite different from Paimon's. He thinks that even the tactless Yuhang is more trustworthy than her. Oh. So you also met with Kuching then? With the Kuching, you have to say. Kuching, Kuching. The time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liu and Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liu? <laughs> no respect for the divine. Indeed, contrary to the Everbold Kuching, Ningguang is more of a businesswoman at heart. Though they are both members of the Qixing. Although she's friendly, there's no way of clearly discerning Who her are you? Zhang Li, who are you and why do you know so much? Ningguang is highly intelligent. Yes, she has only relied on herself to rise to her current position. No ordinary person could ever achieve that. It's said that she's the one behind the constant expansion of the Jade Chamber. It's the second most important thing to her. Even if she ever gave up the position of Tian Xuan, she would never give up the Jade Chamber. The Jade Chamber is only second? What's the most important thing to her then? Why, Mora, of course. Makes what sense. What talked about was the Fatui this and the Fatui that. She said that after Rex Lapis was murdered, the Fatui have constantly been trying to sink their fingers into Liwa and that they aren't to be trusted. That is how the Fatui have always been. It doesn't surprise me in the least. And now they are trying to reproduce the sigil of permission. Hmm. No matter what they may be planning, you must be careful when dealing with the Fatui. Always be on your guard. Like, I'm confused over here because there's so much happening. The reason why I can't trust anyone is because I was introduced to the fact that the Fatui are evil people. Right? Then, Zhongli is working with Child. With Child is sus. And then they're also doing some sus things, like Ningguang. And Ningguang is like, aside from Zhongli... <laughs> so, is there anything we need to get for the right of parting? And Who's the bad guy? Yes, as a matter of fact, there is. Today, we'll be gathering wild glaze lilies. Glaze lilies? I already have a lot of those. Here. Doesn't the garden in Yujing Terrace have some? Oh, right. Paima remembers that Madame Ping is always tending to flowers. Maybe we could ask her. It was me all along. I was the bad guy all along. Who no, would have thought? Those lilies have all been gardened by people. I just didn't remember it. Do it all. Dihua Marsh used to be full of glaze lilies. It is a sort of joyful flower that listens to human song. Before the Archon War, Dihua Marsh was all dry land and fertile soil. But the war caused landslides, and the land was flooded, turning it into the marsh you see now. Nearly all the glazed lilies were wiped out. Of course, there are some kinds of flowers that have been preserved and gardened by people in the city. But very few people know that glazed lilies may still be found in the wild. Wild glazed mm. lilies have the strongest fragrance. If we want to follow the true tradition of the rite of parting, we must grind up the wild lilies and place the powder in a censer of everlasting incense. But I'll need your assistance in gathering these flowers. Lucy vented? I'll be venting next week for sure. You mean you need to pick them? No. I need you to sing to them. Sing! Sing! The flowers will make them more fragrant. Ah! Uh, so how good is your singing? Pretty bad. I can hold the tune. We'll only know once he starts singing. The different V, thank you so much for the Moomba, the gifted Moombas. Thank you, thank you. If anybody got sniped in chat, make sure to thank the gifter. And thank you so much. Enjoy your emotes and your batches. Thank you, thank you. You guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. You know. Whenever you're ready. I appreciate all the people that gift uh, Moombas. 
for you know those out there that can't really uh put out uh you know like get their own moomba shit because obviously situations and stuff and some some people just have uh, more important priorities so i really appreciate all the people that gift uh moombas to those who can't because that means that you know we all can enjoy the emotes together so thank you <laughs> thank you so much thank you i appreciate it <gasps> what the? These flowers are jumping. They look really angry. Is it because you sing a song for Mommy's dad that they don't understand here in Leland? Okay, these are not that strong though. Never mind, they are very strong. I need I need channeling. Dodge this. Rain out oh, not good. Nice and spicy. Oz, reveal thyself. Are they healing or is it is it me or are they healing? No, they're not healing. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Oh, Hold on, what the? That's crazy. Where's the food? Where's the food? Is this is this good? No, this one revives. Let's give her that and again. Oh my god, can they stop shooting? Why does it push him away? I need them so close so that I can hit him. No rest for the wicked. Midnight Phantasmagoria. There we go. Nice. Oh, so sorry. Rain out. No. <laughs> okay, one down, one down. Come on, come on, come on. Nice, one down. Oh, that one has a shield. I can't hit it. Let's hit this one. Stop, don't go down. Don't go. No. No. Die. Okay, one more. One more to go. You. You're dead. Did it die? No. Did it die? Finally, okay. That was so hard. Blaze lilies. Blaze lilies wouldn't hit people. Those flowers put up a quiet fight. This little monster is known as a whopper flower. Whopper, 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 whopper. Hmm. Junior double triple Strange. whopper. The glaze lilies used as a disguise were buried with the whopper flower for too long. The result seems to have surprisingly potent medicinal value. Let's collect what we can of these petals. Well, that's nice and all, but will those petals be useful for the rite of parting? Unfortunately, no. Ugh, that's so lame. That's so lame. Excuse me. Are you searching for glaze? <gasps> it's her. It's Kuching. Oh no, that's Gai Ganyu, my bad. <laughs> that's Ganyu. They, they look the same. <laughs> oh, hey, it's... What's your face? I... Kind of can't remember. I see her name here and I'm like, oh, it's Kuching. <laughs> Greetings, Ganyu. Hello, Trevor. Yangu. <laughs> so, one of the options was to call her Yangu. Oh, that reminds me. How was your visit to the Jade Chamber? But Bo is official, Amos. Well, it sure would have been better if you told us how to get up there. Didn't I tell you the way? Surely I did. Nope. We found the way on our own. It isn't a secret, so perhaps you just assumed we knew? Oh, I see. Uh-oh. 
I guess I really did forget to tell them. Is she another character that you can get if you miss the 50-50? The huh. Something seems a little off about Ganyu. She's acting different from the first time we met. No! Where's her serious Man. attitude now? That sucks. Oh, well, I met you at that time as an emissary of the Tianquan. But now, I am simply out on a stroll to see the flowers. You came all the way out here to see the flowers? Why not just enjoy the gardens of the city? <sighs> Yujing Terrace is where Rex Lapis parted from this world. If I strolled through those lonely gardens now, I wouldn't be able to bear it. Whenever my duties take me near Yujing Terrace these days, I draw the windows to block my view of the gardens. Oh, sorry. We shouldn't have brought it up. No, it's quite all right. I just haven't processed my emotions yet. When the Archon War came to its end 2,000 years ago, the first iteration of the Seven would gather in Liyue and drink with Rex Lapis. But five of those original Seven had already passed before Rex Lapis. It's truly a changing of the Guard. So that means... Yes. Now that the spirit of Rex Lapis has returned to the heavens, only Barbados of Mondstadt remains of the first Seven. The other five, including Inazuma's Raiden Shogun, are no longer the same friends from 2,000 years ago. Of the current seven Archons, the youngest is Sumeru's god of Dendro. Sumeru? She is merely 500 years old, whereas Rex Lapis was more than 6,000 years 6, old at the time of his passing. It's over 6,000! It means that Liyue had been under Rex Lapis's rule from the moment it was first founded 3,700 years ago. The city has never had to bid farewell to its deity. So what do you think of this... farewell? Huh? This... This is a little sudden. I... <sighs> As a mortal, I've never dared to imagine a Liyue without Rex Lapis. But as an Adeptus, I think I will eventually come to grips with reality. Since Rex Lapis has passed, the time of Liyue's contract with the gods and Adepti has now reached its end. Huh? Did you just say, as an Adeptus? Yes, I... I am a mix of human and Chilean. Adeptus blood flows through my veins. I fought for Rex Lapis and the city of Liyue during the Archon War. Sheesh! After the war ended, I signed a contract with Rex Lapis and took the position as secretary for the Chising. I've continued those duties to this very day. So you're half whatever that is chilling? She chilling, she's chilling. That that explains the horns. Well, uh let's save that conversation for another day. Was it chilling or she's you chilling? You are here looking for glaze lilies? Or sealing. I also know where wild glaze lilies can be found. See, I've just picked one myself. Here, you may have it if you wish. <laughs> we dare not refuse it. So she, she, yeah, she's chilling then. We dare not refuse it. Oh, so did you sing a song before you picked the lily? Indeed, I did. I know this tradition well. In fact, I sang a local Leo a ballad to it. Oh? Is she gonna sing? Wow, so you really know your stuff too. Thanks, Gunyu. No, it is you who I should be thanking. If not for this chance meeting, I never thought that I would be able to contribute to the upcoming farewell for our ancient lord. If you would excuse me, I should return to my work now. Good luck. And that just about does it. Our preparations for the rite of parting are mostly finished. I feel like out of all the people that I've met so far, I can trust Ganyu. I can trust Ganyu. She, she feels trustworthy, loyal. Given the ease of picking glaze lilies, I think this was a fitting end to our tasks, in more ways than one. Zhongli, Sung, uh, Zhongli, you seem suited to work in ag agricultural developments. Yeah, Paimon can already imagine him starting a business in Liyue. <laughs> I've had enough ventures in my life already. Beginning a new undertaking is always difficult at first, and requires no small amount of effort. And once business is at full steam, the stress of it all only wears away at you over time. 
so you must be careful to take the time to step back and re-examine yourself. If left unchecked, the wear and tear on your heart may go well past mending. Wow. See? Jolly sounds like he's already seen it all. Alright, <laughs> I think it's about time we head back to Leo yeah. and Harbor now. Oddly. Oddly, he's been living for a long time. He even knows the grandma. The grandma that's very old. Uh, this way, I think. Let's see, what do we have next? Who is that? Oh, it's just a guard, right? Yeah, I think it's just a guard. Huh? What happened? The city gate is swarming with Oh, Fatui. this guy is from the Fatui! Ah, you're the consultant to Wongsheng Funeral Parlor. Mr. Zhongli, I presume. The Millilith are watching our every move now. These are desperate times. We mustn't act rashly. This is, this is child's doing. Desperate of course. times. The Adepti of Joyun Karst are finally on the move. Do they intend to exercise force? Most likely. I've heard that some members of the Qixing have already gone to meet them. Well, I say meet, but it's more like they're attempting to stall the Adepti outside the city. However, both sides were quite obstinate and hit an impasse. It seems inevitable, given the current situation. The Adepti do not acknowledge the Qixing. They only acknowledge the contracts of the Geo Archon. If the two sides come to blows, Liyue Harbor will be in no position to stop them. Surely the Liyue Qixing are not the sort to give in so easily. <laughs> Their boneheadedness is known throughout the lands. Yet it's because of that obstinacy that mortals and Adepti are now on the verge of conflict. And what now? How is it that the Fatui have come under fire? Ah, <sighs> that's all Ningguang's doing. She proclaimed that in these tumultuous times, the Millilith must rein in the actions of the Fatui. Only now do they want to start keeping tabs on us? <laughs> That's the Qixing for you. Shut up. You're from the Fatui. Nobody trusts anyway, you. Mr. Zhongli, you're one of Child's close associates. Please understand that your actions will reflect on us. Don't let anyone catch you off guard. You're just an NPC. You're a side character. Looks like things are about to boil over in Liyue <laughs> So mean. Is there anything we can do? Do you intend to use your neutral identity as an intermediary between both sides? Or will you use your sword to turn the balance? Neither path is an easy one. That is true. Oh, by the way, Mr. Zhongli. We've heard that the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor has also been caught up in all of this. They're currently squaring off with the authorities at the gates. Things are taking a turn for the worse. I'm afraid I must leave now to handle things back at Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. I hope that Master Hu has been able to keep things under control for the moment. Consider your Is that a dog? Action carefully, Traveler. If you're trying to prevent an explosion, did you all it see that? Wisest to look for the fuse first. <sighs> Having connections with the Fatui seems to be quite the double-edged sword. So what does Xiangli mean by looking for the fuse? Child. Oh, Paimon gets it. If there's anyone that wants to see the whole city turned upside down, it's definitely him. He must be waiting for the moment when no one is watching to do something real. Well, where could we find him now? Where would he go at a time like this? Follow me. I know, even though I don't know, but follow me anyway. Anyways. It's a doggo! Look at this guy. He 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 he. Look at him. <laughs> I wish I could just like go down and pat him, but I can't. That's cute. Oh wow, that's far away. Uh... Where are we going? I've never. Uh, have I ever been there? Oh, there's more dogos! It's a dogo and an NPC dogo. Oh my god, that's cute. I've never seen so many dogs in this game. Mm. 
<clears throat> Let's see what his child up to. He's probably gonna start singing, Baby, I'm dancing in. <laughs> Ooh, ooh. Isn't this the pharmacy? No, this is not the pharmacy. Or is it? Have I been here before? That's the question. Oh, what is this? Eh? It's a domain? Lower than recommended. Hold on. 47. Hold on. Hold the phone. Forty, forty. I can't really level up anymore. Um She can ascend, but I don't have the materials for her to ascend. I could technically level- no, I think I'm gonna have to try like that. I'm gonna have to try like that. Maybe the artifacts? Yeah, maybe artifacts. Well, not this guy, because I don't care about him. He's just gonna freeze. Uh... Wait, let me check her. I have this plus seven. Maybe I should, like, level this one up instead? Perhaps? Nine? I didn't mean it to be nine. What? Oh wait, actually I did mean to be nine. Oh, did I mean it to be nine? I don't know. Let's try this one here. It gives more attack, so anything helps. Yeah, let's do eight. Geo damage bonus. I don't have any geos. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep that one like that. And what does this do? Attack. Oh, actually, I kind of want to have this one here. Maybe, no, I'm just gonna keep it like that. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it like this. If I lose, I guess I lose. It doesn't tell me the recommended, so... I'm gonna guess it's like some Geo... Um, geo thing. That's fine. I'll be fine. Wow! This is the golden house? impressive enough from the outside <clears throat> but who would have guessed that it was even fancier on the inside and so full of mora oh you're right there's so much mora this is where all of Tavat's mora is minted right in that case maybe they won't notice if a few mora go missing touch a single mora and we're done for oh so it's a trap tricky tricky Good thing Paimon's got you here. Yeah, sure, Paimon. But even if we can't take any, we can still have a closer look, right? Gamba. Or better yet, thank take you, thank a nap you. on top of a mountain of Mora. It's like a dream come true. We'd better check on the Exuvia first. Oh, right. Back to business. It's quiet. Too quiet. Surely 
someone's gotta be guarding something as important as the Exuvia. Huh? Look! What happened here? The Melolith. Uh-oh. Paimon smells trouble. Quick, we have to go make sure that the Exuvia oh, is Oh, that's... Right. Yeah, the Exuvia. That's uh, Rex Lapis, right? You've already fulfilled your task as guides, so why do you still linger here? Haven't you already seen enough trouble for today? Child. Huh? Who's there? <sighs> if you were Fatui, I imagine that you would be entitled to a generous reward from the Tsaritsa herself. But now, you're nothing but dross, and you're in my way. He sounds aggressive. He sounds a little different for sure. How did you find out I was here? It was here. Hmm, where should I start? Well, I've never been one to beat around the bush, you know. But who could have possibly guessed that the god of Geo would mysteriously perish the very moment I arrived in Liyue, and that the Exuvia would subsequently be hidden away? If it weren't for that lovely little rite of parting ceremony you put together, it would have taken me a whole lot longer to get the information I needed. <laughs> Stopping the more immense, Hiding away the Exuvia. <laughs> the Chising are really pulling out all the stops this time. So you've been planning to take the Gnosis from inside the Exuvia all along? <laughs> oh, As that's crazy. As one of the eleven Harbingers, it's my duty to see the I will of the so, yeah. fulfilled. She will get that which she desires. Not if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> I'm not asking for your blessing. And there's nothing you can do to stop me anyway. The time for discussion and diplomacy has already passed. I mean, if it were up to me, I would have skipped that stage to begin with. But I'm willing to do as the Tsaritsa deems fit. Either way, we now come to my favorite part. A simple pleasure, and one that I am oh so delighted to be sharing with you. The battle. Battle? So you're the type that goes looking for trouble, huh? <laughs> You could say that. <laughs> when Signora offended the deity, Stop talking! If you're gonna fight me, monster, fight me! She swiftly left the scene once her mission was accomplished. Instead of confronting you directly, she chose to rely on the snow and ice to make her escape. She wouldn't want the knights to come running towards the sound of battle now, would she? Ron, thank you for the super. Hello, Lucy. I'm too late, but hope you're having a great time with even more interesting story. It's been amazing. Yeah. Thank you, thank you for the super. And you're not late. Nobody is late, ever. You're always just in time. When she faces a worthy opponent, she will prioritize her mission, weigh the outcomes, and consider the consequences of her actions. But as for me, the greatest pleasure of being a harbinger lies in crossing blades with strong opponents. We won't let what happened in Mondstadt ever we happen again! We won't let! We won't let! We won't let! Oh, so you intend to fight me? Good. I won't. No, kill you yourself. intend to fight I'll me. Just play along to feel the thrill of battle. Besides, you could never defeat me. Says not who? Even in your wildest dreams. But hey, try to relish the fight anyway, because if you ask me, without that, what else is there? I can never defeat you. You're completely delusional. Brown, thank you for the five gifted. Thank you, thank you. If you got a gifted, please make sure to thank Ron, the gifter. And I hope you enjoy your emotes and your badges. Thank you so much. <laughs> Fighting talk, I love it. Now let's see you live up to it. This chance is hard to come by. So show yeah. me all you've got. Oh, he's a bow so user. Few ever get the chance to square off with the Fatui Harbinger. So come now, amuse me, and don't you dare disappoint. All right, bow versus bow. Wait, this is easy. Oh my God, that's a lot of damage. What's the hurry? This moment will be frozen in time. Freeze. Wow, he dodged. Oh, shit. Oh. Flames burn 
But I don't know the moves, so obviously he is gonna hurt me because I don't know what he's he what he does. Cowering already. What the? Oh, what? Wait, what? Oh, it's because he's dead. Not bad, not bad. Oh, he's got blades now. What? As you wish, main Fräulein. So quick to flee. Oh, that hurt! No, she's dead too! I can't revive them. I gotta survive. I have to survive. Oh my god. No! Oh, okay, okay, okay. What is he doing? What is he doing? Rain outlines your fate. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. You've got it. Got him. Wait, what? No, huh? was so wary of you. Well, he looks so cool. That just means I can go all out. Brace yourself. This is about to Wait, he's Electro? Now. What? what? You can do against the might of a harbinger. Hold on. Hold on. No. <laughs> I pause. Wait, what? I pause right he was he's about to kill me. Oh. Oh. Wait, that's not good though. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on. Oh my. Oh Jesus. My final stand be a monument to show. Time to crush. I'll crush you. What is that? Oh, that's what it is. Okay. All right, this is not fair, guys. Is it? This is not. F oh, what? I am outplayed. How is that fair? And I'm dead. Wait, what do you mean lower difficulty? Well, I kind of want to. Yeah, I kind of want to because I have to beat the story or else I'm going to be stuck here forever. I feel like I'm just weak. Oh, wait, what? I have to heal myself. Put a healer on your team. They're very weak. I don't think it's worth it. They're very weak. God, I have to go all the way there. <gasps> don't you have Barbara? Yeah, but she's very, she's very weak though.
The thing is, like, the reason why I lost is because I took so much unnecessary damage because I didn't know the patterns of his moves. I, I didn't know what he does. It's my first time fighting him. <clears throat> so I took unnecessary damage when I should probably not have taken damage. Oh. How fortunate. That's okay. We got this. We got this. I do have I do have some food that buffs me. This one. This one's pretty good, I think. I can use this. And then there's another one that buffs me too. This and this one. And then this one gives me shield. This one's pretty good actually. I'm gonna use them all. That's okay, we got this. Again? Okay, no, you gotta be. There's a skip button. There's no skip button. But even if we can't, or better yet, take a nap on top of a. Oh, right. It's quiet. Huh? Look. That's crazy. If I lose again, I have to go through all this dialogue again. That guy talked so much. Bruh. That kind of sucks, though. That that does kind of suck. You've already fulfilled your task. Huh? Who's there? <sighs> if you were Fatui, I imagine that you would be entitled to a generous reward from the I can't even himself. skip it. But now I can't even skip the dialogue. <laughs> Although I'm deeply, don't you think that trying to stop, stopping. The so you've been planning to. Huh. As one of the elect, she will get that which she does. <laughs> I'm not. So wait, is he water or he is electro? I'm so confused. Battle. <laughs> Is he hydro or electro? When Senor, instead of confronting you direct, when she faces a worthy, can you be both? Me, the greatest pleasure of being. I didn't. I didn't know you could be both. Let what happened in oh, so you and besides, you could never <laughs> fighting talk. I love it. This chance is hard to come by, so show me all you've got. So very few ever get the chance to square off with the Fatui Harbinger. So come now, amuse me, and don't you dare disappoint. For the wicked. Ready? Cool it. No, my He's just standing there menacingly. Wide open. By royal decree. Try this. You've made some. Oh, that hurts. Not bad. You've got a trigger. <laughs> Good. That was fast. No wonder Senora was so wary of you. Well, that just means I can go all out. Brace yourself. This is about to get tough. Now, show me what you can do against the might of a harbinger. Wait, is it, this is turned like super easy, or did the thing that I ate actually gave me a lot of defenses? Oh! Ow, that hurts. Push your luck. Cool it. No, my sword. I guess the food buffs are crazy, though. Ooh, that hurts. Is he blind? Nice and spicy. 
Is he blind or what? What the frick? <laughs> Wait, the, the the food buff was crazy though. But that's about as far as you'll get. I feel like that was too easy compared to the first time. Oh, what happens? <laughs> Didn't think you had that card hidden up your sleeve. <laughs> you were just playing to get close to the Exuvia. Oh, quiet down. Stop acting like some wide-eyed recruit. You've seen this world. You of all people should know. This should have been expected. <laughs> well then, I'll be taking Morax's gnosis now. Huh? <laughs> I see. Well, this is most unexpected. You... You beat me to it, didn't you? What the... Wait, what is going on here? There's a phase three?! He looks like a monster. Tartaglia. Not bad. But this is going to cost you. Oh, that's actually so cool. What the frick? Wait, he's so cool. He also looks so strong. He's just standing. Oh my god, look at his pose! Is it the same movements? Okay, he kind of doesn't do much damage though. Oh, he's- Oh, he does damage! Wait, I don't know the movement! I don't know what he's supposed to do! Oh, now I do, okay. How am I healing, though? Is it- Is it part of the food buff? Oh god. Oh, it's a big whale! Christ. Nice and spicy. Die here. Oh, no, you are going to die here. What? Yeah. That's it, right? He doesn't have a face four. Yeah, okay. He doesn't have a face four. He's not that cool. Off. It seems the burden of the foul legacy transformation was too great for my body. I lacked the opportunity to think this through. And now that I consider the matter more carefully, you never had any chance of beating me to the Gnosis. You had no connection to the Gnosis, no matter where it had been taken. That's what we've been trying to tell you. We didn't take it. Your show of ability today far surpasses that of Senora's initial assessment of you and Mondstadt. Tell me, how could that be? <laughs> because I'm collecting the power of the seven elements. You already know the answer, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. In parentheses, of course. But if that is a secret you wish to keep, 
I guess I'll just have to curb my curiosity. This battle has already left me satisfied. Anyone who strives as I do to grow stronger shall be called a friend. Even if our friendship can only be shown in battle against one another. Ah, uh, I don't know about that, buddy. Friends, maybe a reach. Pretty sure that's not the normal way to make friends. Unfortunately, I must bring this amiable conversation to an end. His voice is. Unfortunately, I must bring with other for the. He's running out of breath. <laughs> Do you not hear him? <laughs> Given that the gnosis wasn't taken by anyone. Then we must look once again to the beginning. <laughs> Perhaps it was never in the Exuvia to begin with. In fact, it might be that the Exuvia was just a diversion of sorts. What? So you mean that... The Rex Lapis still lives? Yes, it appears so. Yes! Interesting to say the least. It seems that the guardian deity of the capital of commerce is also well versed in little maneuvers beyond the boundaries of contracts. As such, we must now look to our backup plan. Backup plan? I had hoped it would never come to this, for the weak will be swept away in the process. The truth is, the world belongs to those who pursue strength. I seldom willingly involve myself with the weak. Unfortunately, we cannot be picky about our methods as Fatui Harbingers. Children must all learn to eat their vegetables sometime. So what are you planning to do? I will awaken the god that lies dormant beneath Guyan's stone forest. What? Osile, overlord of the Vortex, who was defeated by Morax, the Geo Archon, in the Archon War, and who has remained pinned beneath the waves by the Geo Archon's stone spears ever since. Wait, so the Geo Archon's still alive? If such an ancient god would be unleashed upon Liyue Harbor, defenseless without the protection of its deity, do you think the cunning Rex Lapis would just stand aloof and watch the ensuing destruction? But the Archon War ended He's got a point. years ago. How can an ancient god appear in a world now overseen by the Seven? Simple. I've already prepared the means to awaken it. Hey, those are sigils of permission. Oh, Paimon remembers now. The Fatui have been researching them. I saw your research with my own eyes. Indeed. The one that was given to you was just a byproduct of our research. With the power of so many sigils of permission concentrated in one place, along with that which was bestowed upon me as a harbinger by our Tsaritsa, breaking the subduing might of the Geo Archon spears for a time should be no obstacle. Using the powers of ancient gods in such a situation fails to interest me and is largely against my principles. But knowing that such an action will not only force the Geo Archon to show its hand, but you as well, that makes matters a little more intriguing. Oh well, what is he gonna do now? Oh no. This guy knows no chill. It's Kyogre. And sorry, not this is not that game. It's a it's a <laughs> god. Let's see. Will the nation that has lost its deity be swallowed up by an ancient malice once more? If you wish to drown together with the people of Lyra, you're free to stay and enjoy the show. <laughs> Wait, he just disappeared. Wait, this is a really cool cutscene. Huh? He's he's already gone. Like top tier. That guy is fast. <laughs> What's going on? It's the Kraken. Hentai. I don't know, it's everything at the same time. <sighs> Paimon's exhausted. If we hadn't happened to see the Jade Chamber flying over just as we came out of the Golden House, we really wouldn't have known which way to go. <sighs> Did we make it in time? Is the Overlord of the Vortex still in the sea? It hasn't destroyed Leroy yet, has it? <gasps> Are you doing it's him! Let's go! He's back! Huh? Hold on. It's the Adepti. What are you doing on the Jade Chamber? 
She was an Adepti? He's an Adepti? He's an Adepti? That's crazy. I thought those were NPCs. Faced with a calamity of such magnitude, we have agreed to put our differences aside for now and unite against this common enemy. Oh, those are just guards? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Paimon gets it. So how do you plan to defend Lilith? Just seeing this overlord of the vortex guy puts a pit in Paimon's tummy, even from all the way out here. It's not just you. We've got new Millilith recruits who can't even stand at attention without shaking. The force of an ancient god's presence seems to be too much for ordinary people to handle. Chad, do you think we can stop that big kraken without the Geo Archon? Because clearly, the Geo Archon's not here. Which is why we must stop that monster before it gets any close. So the Archon War was fought 2,000 years ago against enemies like that thing? <sighs> So will the power of the Chising, Millilith, and Adepti gathered here be enough to stop that god? We've already discussed this together, and our conclusion is... Not necessarily. Not necessarily. What? But all of you are supposed to be the guardians of Lilith. Can't you think of something? One certainly could. Huh? The Chi Sing did once research the matter of the Guizhong Ballista when it piqued their fancy. And as fate would have it, one who did craft the Guizhong Ballista with one's own hands is here. For what could you mortals ever learn of Adepti mechanisms? Yet it would take one but a little tinkering to turn this Ballista into an engine of war beyond your wildest thoughts. <laughs> I suppose this is one blessing from the Adepti that we should be thankful for. So be it. We shall use the upgraded Guizhong Ballista to fight off that god. All the Adepti here can lend their strength to man it. This is so intense. We haven't a moment to spare. Our battle begins now. This is even greater than fighting the Valen. Yep. Ooh, cutscene. Wow, she's so cool. Oh my gosh, she's so powerful. It's like Doctor Strange. This is crazy good. This is making me emotional. Oh, come on. These people, bro. Okay, it's time to fight. No, come here, come here. We adept I have not faced a god in several millennia. Wait, what the frick? See what you are made of then. What strength remains within you? What wishes to witness? Yeah, kill him, kill him. Okay, I just have to care. Can I just push him away? No, I can't. I just have to care about one right now, right? No, there's more! Come on, kill him fast! Okay, now these two over here. Oh, these guys are so hard to kill, I remember these! Maybe they're not so hard right now, maybe I'm stronger now. Anywhere else? Anywhere else? Are there any enemies somewhere else? Am I supposed to do something else? Okay, this is this is good, I guess. 
This is good, right? That is Osile's divine power. Oh my god, that's scary. Maybe that'll do something? Be careful not to get hit. Oh. <laughs> Be careful not to get hit. Like where <laughs> Oh my god. The Fatui! Their attacks are unrelenting! How dare Nice Maybe he should have said it out before I got hit, you know what I mean? Oh, this is gonna be so hard. I already know this. No, I didn't mean to do that. I think I'm supposed to live here. Oh, oh wow. To say we can't hold them, children. That hurts. Huh? Oh, Don't lose heart. Here, take this. This is a depth of energy. Are they helping me? Oh, they oh, are helping me. It's like the time of Julian Carter. Wait, why am I being helped? It's a pink this granny's really strong. Oh. It's a buff. They, they, they knew I was bad at the game, so they were like, you know what, we gotta help you or else everything's getting destroyed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, nice. I too did this during the Three more minutes. Woo, let's go! Attack him! Where is it? Was there where Oh! Oh, I almost got hit. I almost got hit. Wait, that looks so sick though. Take my power and run as I do. Oh now I'm faster because of Shao. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. And I got an, uh, an achievement too. Time to act. Zoomies! Yippee! Do I also heal or something? Can I heal? Do I heal? I do heal. Okay, I do heal too. Nice. Once you've adapted, try to use them in battle. Dodge this. Nice. Anyone else? No. Okay. I guess it's Shinso time. Maybe she'll get heal now. Ooh, that's good. That's a good combo. Uh oh, that's not good. We got one more here. One more wave. Go! Oh, one more, another wave. Oh no, the ballista's about to die. That's not good. They're actually all very low. This one's low specifically. Oh no, I don't think that's a good thing. Oh no, that one's gonna lose. That one's gonna die. Fight on, comrades. Once we finish this lot off, the adept I will be able to deal with the god in peace. Come on, faster, faster, faster. 
Is that it? Is that is that the rotation? Oh, there's one more. I forgot about you. Nice. Wait, we did it. We did it. I think we did it. Now she's pretty cool though. I wouldn't mind having her. No more. Now we may commit ourselves fully. We got this. We don't need no Geo Archon. We're stronger together. Does that mean that the Geo Archon is just like 10 times stronger than all of these people together? It's working! We just need to keep this up! <laughs> That's crazy. That's a lot of power for sure. <laughs> Oh, what the frick is that? It's a meteor shower. No. Oh, the ballista is destroyed. Shao, let's go. He's so cool, man. Oh my god. It sucks that I couldn't get him when I when I started. Be careful now. Man, he's Boy so Jean cool. Ballista is destroyed. Huh? Without its covering fire, retaliation shall be difficult. But the Jade Chamber is our last line of defense. We can't give another inch, no matter what. I have another idea. Uh, what do you mean, Lady Ningguang? Ganyu is so cute. I'll sacrifice the Jade Chamber. <gasps> no. What's the she loves the Jade Chamber. I understand. Traveler, lend me a hand. Farewell, old friend. Goodbye for now. Let us meet again in the future. No. Damn! Those are some cool effects. Wow. Frick you, child! We won! Damn, insane graphics though. What an insane cinematic. The ominous aura of that monster has indeed begun to fade. It's not locked anymore. It's dead, right? The effects of the sigil of permission last but a short time. Or is it just sealed again? It will be some time before the overlord of the vortex can make any. Oh, so it doesn't die, because I guess gods can't die. We are indebted to you. Or maybe they for can. I don't know. If the adepti hadn't happened to be here. The future of Liyue Harbor would surely have been in great jeopardy. Save your flattery. We didn't just happen to be here. Surely you won't pretend to have forgotten the reason for which we came. Come now. There's no need for such harsh words, Cloud Retainer. I've heard that when Ningguang began learning to do business, she had already started setting aside part of her then limited income in preparation for building the Jade Chamber. At first, it was only the size of a small room, but with continued expansion, it has become the palace that lies before you now. It is a testament to Ningguang's entire life, both as a businesswoman and as the backbone of the Liyue Qixing. Seeing the Jade Chamber destroyed in the defense of Liyue means much to her. To me, such cooperation and sacrifice deserves at least some recognition, don't you agree? Well, I was really hoping you would say that such sacrifice could at least be used as some leverage in our negotiations. <laughs> Thank you all for hearing me out. We know very well why the Adepti came here today. But please forgive us. We cannot yield to your wishes. Oh? 3,700 years. According to our records, the Adepti signed a contract with Rex Lapis to protect Liyue 3,700 years ago. Okay. 
Even to this very day, Liyue and its lands have stood the test of time, immovable as stone, just as it was thousands of years before. This is truly no small feat. But that does not mean that the Liyue of today is the same city as it was all- Do not merely cast your protective gaze upon the land. Instead, focus your sights on our city and each of the citizens that dwell within it. Are you questioning our means of protecting Liyue? Damn! Hmm... I mean no offense. I simply hope that our Adepti forebearers would see Liyue in a new light. <laughs> forebearers, you say? One doubts you would be fit to be part of such a lineage. This morning, Rex Lapis appeared to me in a dream. Huh? What? In the dream, I yearn to tell him that we Chi Sing, though mortal, are equally bound to the contract. Each passing generation of the Chi Sing leaves many things of value to be inherited by the next generation. I also thought to tell him how the past generations of Chi Sing had strove under his rule to survive in our mortal world, establishing a network of contracts which has since come to be known as trade. But I dared not speak. I could only gaze at him in silence until the moment I awoke. Oh, Ningguang. We're all on the same side here. Yet another perspective. What are you trying to say, Outlander? When there is discord between the gardens and those they were meant to defend, harmony becomes very difficult to restore. Right. That's something that happened in Monster. It's a story about the four winds and the people of the Animal Archon. The Animal Archon sought to quell the strife between the two sides because he believed that such conflict would only scar the hearts of both and that nothing good would come of it. This is what we learned in the City of Freedom. Each of the seven nations has its own scars from the past. Though your point is the very height of simplicity, as Adepti, we've become a laughingstock to be chastised thus by an outlander who has lent us such succor. All right, all right. Didn't Ning Wong suggest that we should focus on the city and each of its citizens? I know I already have, so why not see for yourselves? I apologize for appearing in full armor. I'm <gasps> afraid I cannot show the proper courtesies. Who's this? Rex Lapis? And who are you? I am Feng Yan, a sergeant uh. of the Millilith. Just an I have NPC. Come to extend my thanks to the Adepti. I thought this battle would perhaps be my last. But thanks to the aid of the Adepti, our forces were not as badly battered as I feared we might be. Although I am a mere mortal soldier, I promise to hold the line and never betray the grace given to us by the illuminated Adepti this day. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <gasps> Rex Lapis. Why does everyone look so down? Didn't we just beat that big monster? <laughs> Weren't you frightened, dear? It was quite the predicament. I wasn't afraid. All the strong Millilith guards were there, and those powerful heroes with their visions were there. Everyone was there. Da 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 da. When danger is near, everyone always protects me. And the rest of the time, they make fun toys and tasty snacks and, and loads of things that make the harbor so pretty. Thanks for protecting Liyue Harbor. Please come visit us for the next Lantern Ride. Lantern Ride? Isn't that like an event that happens every now and then on, on Genshin Impact? Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to participate. Huh? Because we are Adepti. It must Every be year. Oh, that's pretty cool. Adeptus. You see, this is what Liyue is like today. The country of contracts is grateful to the Adepti for their protection. But it is no longer necessary for the city to rely on the Adepti's power to solve every little niggling matter. Although their blood is weak, there is still strength to be found in those we call mortals. 
The time of contracts between gods and Liyue has long since passed. Now is the time of contracts between Liyue and its people. Hmm. Seeing the port around us now, it is hard not to feel a bit out of place. Wouldn't you say so, Cloud Retainer? Your line of inquiry is askew. One did not spearhead this expedition to Liyue Harbor. Hmm. Seems like the Adepti have had a change of heart. They've listened to what the people have said. Let us return now. Eager to leave, conqueror of demons. <laughs> yes, one understands what the conqueror of demons means. The city of Liyue has changed much after our long separation. One fears that by the time one finally grasps the new contracts of Liyue, you humans would have once again changed the place beyond recognition. Fair enough. Away we shall, and return whence we came. Damn, this guy is speaking in puzzle. Hmm. Hmm. Since we Adepti have consensus, then one shall persist no further. But how will we ensure that the Liyue Chising will not simply exploit their power once we depart? In my view, that is still a thing to be guarded against. <laughs> All right, Moon Carver, you needn't worry. It seems to me that this right of supervision is best left to the people of Liyue. <sighs> Looks like the conflict between humans and Adepti was avoided. All swell it ends well, huh? You can say that. Oh, right! It's nice that we've got peace and all, but we're forgetting one thing. Child wanted to unleash the god so he could lure Rex Lapis out. But we were able to handle the overlord of the Vortex on our own. So Rex Lapis never showed up. Oh, and speaking of that, don't we still need to get to the bottom of that Archon's death too? Wait, that's crazy. So Rex Lapis, you, th she's right. Rex Lapis did not show up, so he would have just let the whole Liyue get destroyed. Hyman doesn't get it, but isn't the strongest lead we have the Adepta? That's crazy. It was right of parting that we're organizing. No idea where Young Lee's going. Let's he just betrayed, uh. Well, they just betrayed its people. Is that. Is that Rex Lapis? Rex Lapis? No, oh, it's Fairy Lady. Is there anything I can do for you two? I'm afraid that Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor isn't in the best state to receive guests. We've come to see Zhang Li! Could you please tell him we're here? Unfortunately, Zhang Li isn't here at the moment. It seems he went to Northland Bank. Why are we looking for Zhang Li? Doesn't the Northland Bank belong to the Fatui? Last time we saw Zhang Li was before we went to the Golden House. Do you think he doesn't know about the attack on Liyue? Visiting the Fatui at a time like this could only mean more trouble. We had better go and make sure that everything is okay. What is going on here? Is that up there? Seems like it is. Call this cooperation between harbingers. A senora. Cooperation involves communication, you know. <laughs> Don't take it to heart, child. Besides, aren't you happy that you got to skip the formalities and bring chaos to the land? I'm sure you must have enjoyed that. Oh, it seems that some of your friends have arrived. Hey, it's Zhang Li and Child. And... <clears throat> you! You're also one of the Harbingers? Signora! <laughs> it's you two. I believe we've met once before. 
In the city of Bards, was it? I'm glad you still remember my name. Ah, right. I imagine that it must have been rather hard to forget watching helplessly as something precious was snatched away from your friend. <sighs> Just stay calm. Well, if it isn't you two. This is our first time seeing each other since Liyue was nearly wiped off the map. This is certainly a bit awkward, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Paimon knew that we should never have trusted a Fatui Harbinger. Oh, now don't say that. Sure, I may have misled you, but I never had anything against you personally. Besides, I thought we were getting along quite well together, didn't you? Except for that little tussle we had at the end. <laughs> Nothing personal. We just have different views, that's all. Of course, you may very well hold this against me, but that's up to you. The real deceivers here are Senora and Zhongli. Curse them for leading me on. Zhongli tricked you? So actually, I think... Stop wasting time, child. There'll be plenty of time to chat once I'm through here. You remember the agreement, Morax. Now, if you would be so kind. What? The Gnosis, please. Agreement? What in the world are you talking about? <sighs> the contract is fulfilled. That which thou seeketh is now bestowed unto thee. Why is he talking like For that? my promise is solid as stone. <gasps> How sanctimonious. So Zhang Li is actually Rex Lapis. What? So you're the Lord of Chiu? All this time. No, wait. That's an exciting twist and all, but why give the Gnosis to the Fatui? I do not give it for free. I give it as agreed upon in the contract. For it is a matter solely between the Tsaritsa and I. I'm afraid I don't understand. Yeah, you don't think you went a little bit too far with that whole fake death thing? Everyone was preparing the ceremony for you, and splat! This big dragon falls out of the sky, and all of Lyric goes into an uproar! What agreement? Talk about a disaster. <laughs> Gathering all the forces that had been bubbling behind the scenes, and then stirring them together in a pot that was bound to boil over. That's what he wanted to see, am I right? Wait, what? Huh? Perhaps it's best that I explain. Yeah, please. As you know, I've dwelt upon this world for more than 6,000 years. It is now 3,700 years ago that I founded Liyue together with the Adepti. Even boulders that can withstand whirlpools will erode with the passing of time. I kept convincing myself that cracks had not begun to form and that the end of my time had not yet come until one drizzly day. As I was strolling along the harbor, I heard a merchant tell one of his workers, You finished your duties. Go ahead and call it a day. I stood motionless among the crowds, asking myself, Have I already finished my duties? Oh, Zhang Li. But as I began to consider relinquishing my divine role, I soon discovered that many reasons still remained to not hastily depart. Was Liyue, the city I had dwelt in for so long, already prepared to enter its next age? I decided that a test was needed in order a to test. reveal the answer. So I feigned my own death and gathered the cast of Child, the Adepti, and the Liyue Chising to play their roles together on the stage that was Liyue. So are you satisfied with the finale? Indeed I was. Huh? The Gnosis which I had kept for so many years suddenly seemed to have lost its meaning. That's right. Which is why I continued to safeguard the Gnosis until now. So you mean that 
that if the chaos ever reached the point of no return, you would simply appear and use your divine powers to bring Leela back under control? Of course, and it would have been all too easy for him, too. Just as a child quickly matures after losing their parents, so has Liu matured when faced with the death of its deity. In the end, the resolution to all that has transpired was even more satisfactory than I could have hoped for. Is he... is he really that strong? Take the Adepti, for instance. Owing to their years of seclusion, they were the least informed. Yet when faced with a crisis, they commendably showed the greatest amount of restraint possible. Not only did they manage to cooperate with the Qixing, but in the end, they even made efforts to understand the hearts of the people. Credit is also due to Signora, the emissary dispatched by the Cryo Archon to fulfill our contract. At my request, she kept everything she knew in strict confidence. This despite the eavesdropping ears of her colleague, Child. This meant I could remain as Zhongli, even having the chance to fulfill the age-old traditions of Liu in this mortal form. Thank you for joining me on this journey, Traveler. All of these things turned out as I had planned. There is only one thing that I had not anticipated, and that was the conduct of the Liu Qixing. I had expected them to do no more than the Adepti, to come to the defense of Liu. But when all was said and done, they seized the opportunity to supplant Liu as divine protectors, and used the subsequent power vacuum left by my death to quickly gain complete control of Liu. Mm -hmm. Huh? That doesn't sound good at all! <laughs> On the contrary, I think it is excellent. I had always feared that it was too soon for them to take over from me. And it was also that which I longed for the most. As such, this is the best parting gift anyone could have given this god of old. Hey, what about me? Doesn't anyone feel the least bit of remorse for deceiving me? You've practically kept me in the dark! Shut up, child! <laughs> I think that thanks would be more appropriate. You certainly played no small part in all of this. Wreaking havoc and turning the city upside down. The Lord of Geo ought to thank you for your performance, if anything. If you hadn't created the pressure of a battle between mortals, Adepti, and a god, the lump of coal resting in the hands of the Geo Archon, Liu, would never have been able to become a dazzling diamond of a city. Huh? Just whose side are you on, mocking me like that? Are you itching for a fight? <laughs> he just wanted to fight people. We were both equally fooled. Be that as it may. You've come out of this as the hero of Liu. I, on the other hand, will be forever prescribed as a disturber of the peace, no? <laughs> well then, with the Gnosis in my possession, I have no use for such idle chatter. We should return to Zapoljarni Palace and seek an audience with Her Majesty, the Tsaritsa. Come, child. Ah, fine. I'll meet you there later. I'm not sharing a boat with the likes of you. Ooh, infighting. Do as you wish. It sucks not being able to do now anything. Then, is there anything else you wish to ask me? I'd like to know what the Cryo Archon offered you. Right! As Zhang Li always told us, a good trade is a fair trade. Paimon has no idea what could be a good trade for a Gnosis. Realistically speaking, there is no such thing. Huh? However, I am the god of contracts. For thousands of years, I have made countless contracts. If the deal was of no benefit, then I certainly would not be inclined to agree to it. My agreement with the Cryo Archon will be the last of my contracts as the Geo Archon. My contract to end all contracts. Uh -huh. As for the bargaining chip that the Tsaritsa used to balance the scales, uncover that answer for yourself in your future journeys. What? So you're telling me I got a key plan to know what you made? Like, what, what agreement you made? Bruh. To 
today's the day of the Rite of Parting. Although the star of the show is fake, we spend so much time trying... I don't care, Paimon. I really don't care. Willing to organize it, it would be a real shame not to go there now. <gasps> a chest! Oh, what the... <laughs> what? What are the odds I Kobe that? <laughs> oh, that's a big chest too. <laughs> Quite the find. Oh, I thought that was another chest. It's a little hiding spot if you ever want to play hide and seek. Well, since we're going through with this rite of parting, I guess it means that those rumors hit the nail on the head. What a nice view. Props to the camera, man. Standing there. So Rex Lapis is really... <sighs> but they didn't catch the culprit, did they? Oh, come on. Do you think that the assassin could have been a normal person? You know what I think. I don't think any of the gossip on the streets you hear from those shady types is worth anything. There's only one real possibility in my mind. I've heard that the assassin was that Fatui fellow. Youngish, pretty high in rank. Ooh. I think they called him child. The Fatui? Hmm. They certainly are very He suspicious. do be a villain now. Who knows what those greedy, crooked folks... Shh! Lower your voice. If the Fatui catch you in their sights, Rex Lapis won't be around to protect you this time. Who else do we gotta talk with? This person here. You know that god from the ocean couldn't have just shown up out of nowhere. I mean, it's been 2,000 years since Rex Lapis subdued it. Yes, and to think that this happened right on the heels of the incident with Rex Lapis. I'm just eavesdropping. Say, do you think the person who assassinated our lord and released that evil god might have been one and the same? Now that you mention it, that's very possible. Yes, it's very possible indeed. I mean, it all fits together. That person must have colluded with the evil god to harm Rex Lapis. But that's oh, not true. black-hearted scoundrel. Still, what sort of supernatural prowess must this person possess to be able to do that? That guy's just things? walking. He I was just walking looking at the camera. Ah, <laughs> uh, forget it. Guessing's no use to us. Look, the Millilith over there looks like he's about to make an announcement. Let's hear what the Ministry of Civil Affairs has to say first. It's one more person. Hear ye all the Chi Sing's words. Though a dragon soars ageless as the mountains, it too must return to dust. This is common knowledge. Gods and Adepti live glorious lives, but both light and shadow have their season. So too must they face divinely appointed trials. Rumors and hearsay abound on the streets that Rex Lapis was murdered. Now, let the truth be revealed. Having been thwarted in his trial, Rex Lapis's soul has recouped the celestial heights. He beseeches the people of Lyra to grieve not and to let not their hearts be saddened. Nor are they to believe street-born rumors or indulge in baseless speculation. Uh, um, Daimon needs a translation on what the Chi Sing's announcement said. They said Rex Lapis wasn't murdered. Uh, so that's how they're spinning it. Yeah. Something feels off. Why would they suddenly give up looking for the murderer? Not to mention how this excuse sounds like something. But he was not murdered, though. That's the, the thing. Could the Chi Sing already have known that Rex Lapis wasn't dead? But Zhang Li said that neither they nor the Adepti knew anything. Hmm. Did Zhang Li tell them in secret after his gnosis changed hands? That's possible. Exactly, right? Ooh, seems like the Rite of Parting has been going on for a while now. Let's go have a look. <laughs> Hmm. 
This is it. Oh my god, look at all those pretty characters. Look, it's Ningguang and Kuching. Are they saying something? Are their speeches over? As said previously, Rex Lapis's soul returning to the heavens is the end of the contract. And it is also the end of an era. Era? The end of an era. Contracts burnt and reduced to ash. We, the people of Liyue, were indeed prosperous. But blinded by our prosperity, we forgot that time can be pitiless. Ooh, this song is good. The long, unending dream of our Archon walking among us. Hmm. Now that we have awoken from our dream, we must learn to say farewell. Will you stand with us as we reestablish our contracts? As we build a new age of prosperity? So concludes the words of Her Eminence the Tianquan. Does Her Eminence the Yuhang have anything to add? Huh? Is she looking this way? Traveler. Yikes! She really is looking our way! Is that the Traveler who they say defeated the ancient god? So young. The Liyue Qixing always repay their debts. And as you have heard, our eyes see far and our reach is long. Name your price. You deserve that much. I want... Chicken nuggets. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, they're all speechless. Do they not know what chicken nuggets are? Well, could you help me put up some missing person posters? Oh. I did not expect him to talk. The objective in this air. Wait, what? Talk to the people taking part of the rights. So, like, these people. But it seems as. Well, that's fine. As for the mortals at. Is that Zhang Li? That's kind of weird. The cleanup of the premises. Me Roping you in. With he did come to his own funeral after all. And nobody else but I know. Hey, Zhong Li! Look at this! Everyone in Liu is caught up in their emotions, thinking that they'll never see Rex Lapis again. And here you are looking all relaxed! <laughs> <laughs> Why would I not feel more at ease after laying down the burden I have borne for 3,700 years? Right. If. The two of you can spare the time. I should treat you to a meal at the Xinyu kiosk. Ha! <laughs> that sounds like big talk, Zhongli. Paimon might have believed you if you were treating us to some third round knockout, but you'd have to pay out your nose just to stand inside Xinyu kiosk. Are you sure you can afford it? Hmm. You're right. I do like the Mora. You've been this way this entire time, but... But why would Morax lack Mora? As the Rex Lapis Morax, I can easily create Mora. But since I have chosen to walk this earth as the mortal Zhongli, I should abide by the same rules that mortals do. When I was journeying with you, though I still had the Gnosis in hand, I knew that I must soon retire from my role as an Archon. So I had to... Rehearse a little for my new life. Oh, no wonder! Paimon gets it now. 
You didn't look at the price tags when we were spending because you've never had to. But since you weren't used to this guy's just rich, he just make more makes more money. <laughs> as when you wanted to, you had to try becoming a parasite to society who lives off of other people's <laughs> Okay, Paimon. Damn. Well, we were only <laughs> spending for Tui money. You don't have to say it like that. In the city of commerce, we do not merely exchange money or goods. We also exchange knowledge, memories, and foresight, as well as positions, roles, and lives. The Archon Morax could never experience life as the true mortal Zhongli could, no matter how many times he descended to be with his people. <laughs> I must thank you for that. I will treasure the memories that I made as Zhongli, traveling the streets of Liyue with you. It was a fine journey. That is true. But there is no journey that does not end. No meetings without partings. Hmm. Paimon thinks that we should make a move and continue our search for the Seven. I fear that continuing your journey may be difficult. The nation that neighbors Liyue by sea in Azuma is presently closed. Closed? Yes. The nation has been closed by order of its deity. The Electro Archon Ball. And just as the people of Liyue preferred to call me Rex Lapis, she too goes by another name among locals in Inazuma. Um, Paimon thinks we've heard that one before. Uh, right, Raiden? That is the case. And since Raiden is also the Shogun of Inazuma, people call her the Raiden Shogun. The Shogun. That said, though people at the wharf were saying that the situation in Inazuma is very tense, Paimon doesn't remember that always being the case. It wasn't that bad last year. Zhongli, since you're Rex Lapis, shouldn't you know something about what's happening there? Just how did Inazuma become a closed nation? It's because of visions. Hmm? Visions? When faced with circumstances beyond their control, humans often bemoan their lack of power. But if a person shows true strength of will at a desperate and fateful moment in their life, the gods will look upon them with favor. This is what visions are. Magical foci bestowed upon those who have been acknowledged by the gods. Uh-huh. That's how people in Tibet see it. But starting from last year, the Raiden Shogun began promulgating the Vision Hunt Decree. Eh? Vision Hunt Decree? Yes. It was an order to seize all visions within Inazuma's borders, and to inlay them upon the hands of the statue of the omnipresent god. They want to seize visions. But why? Aren't visions blessings from the gods? I should think that in the Raiden Shogun's eyes, it is precisely because they are divine blessings that they should be under the sole dominion of divinity. Whoa, that's harsh. The Animo Archon is the god of freedom, and the Geo Archon is the god of contracts. For her part, the Raiden Shogun is the god of eternity. It seems as though she has finally decided to eliminate any unstable elements that could pose a threat to her eternal realm. The fact that even I, the oldest of the seven, have now passed away will only strengthen her resolve to pursue eternity. No, True. Her, she must have again her quoted that adage she is most fond of when proclaiming that decree to her people. Seven ideals for seven gods. And of these... Eternity is nearest unto the heavenly principles. Wait, so he's the oldest. Zhongli is the oldest Archon. So that means he's probably the most knowledgeable too. It must mean that, right? He's the oldest. Right, he, he has then. the most experience. Was there anything else you wish to know? Um... There's nothing else. Well then, I suppose you'll have to find a way to get inside this closed nation. We finished Liyue! Let's go!
Now we got... Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> anything else? Is there anything else here? No. It is time. It is time. Very soon. What is this? So I can do the teapot. I can also do this, whatever this is. Lemon, thank you for the super Otsu on the Li Yue quest. Use my birthday luck and funds, but let's win that 50 50. You're my favorite character. Hope today is the day you get newbie. Happy birthday, though. Happy birthday, Lemon. Today's your birthday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lemon. Happy birthday to you. Let's go. Let me just check all of these. Because I don't like notifications. Uh, alrighty. It's it's time. It's it's time. Since uh, we are here in Liyue, we definitely have to be in the right place. We have to be in the right place. We've got 2,000 primos. And one... One... Wish. It is time to pull for Nuvelet, or how I call him, Nuvelet. We will pull, and we have four outcomes. One, we get Nuvelet and we're all happy. Two, we don't get Nuvelet, but we get a cool character that I like. Three, I spend, <laughs> I use the, I swap, I swipe the card and still get Nuvelet after the pity. Four, we get Chichi and I never play this game again. <laughs> okay, let's do the check. Let's do the check. We got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 60? Wait, no. What? Did it stop? Wait, is it just 60? No. Oh, no, wait, it stopped. It just lagged. Frick! I lost the count. I lost the count. How many do I have? Chat, how many do I have? I lost the count. It lagged. Your YouTube also froze. 77, 75. Yeah, so we have exactly 15. Right? 15. 13, 13. Alright. You should hydrate first. Yes, thank you, Hazaki. Thank you. You're right. It is time. I lagged so hard for some reason. Here we go. Here we go. Go! Whoa! Let's go! I am the chief. Let's go! Of the first but pull. You may simply address me by using my surname, Nervilet. Not because I wish to keep my distance from you. No, I am merely conscious that being overly familiar may bring that's crazy. The, the first pull. If you have any requests or concerns, then, to the extent permissible by law at least, we can sit down and discuss them together as we partake of some imported water from Chaoyin Village. That's crazy. We got him. And it was the first poll too. The game was like, nope, you're not swiping today. Oh! <gasps> what is this? This is this looks cool. It's for Shinsho? Really? 
Suzu, thank you for the 10 gifted. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the Moombas. Welcome to the Moombership. And I hope you enjoy your emotes and your badges. Oh god, look at this. We got we can do some individual uh individual wishes. Uh, I believe actually, wait, hold on. Where is it again? Is it on shop? I think it's in shop. Yeah, so I have I have this. This is like 120, right? Wait, how do I how do I check this? Adiga, thank you so much for the super. Thank you, thank you. And congratulations, Lucy. Nice, nice, nice. My birthday luck worked. It did, Lemon. Thank you for the super as well. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god. I hope you really have an amazing birthday, by the way. And eat lots of cake. And if you don't like cake, you can get anything you want. Anything. Remember, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. How do I how do I exchange? Hold on. Is it here? Yeah, for wishes, right? And what about... How do I use the top-up crystal? Oh, like this. So, 100... And 20, right? No, 100... No, max. 120. So we got... Oh, we, we can't buy another one. It's okay. Aozaki, thanks so much for the soup, but the ritual worked. I'm glad it worked. It worked! Uh, we have... Do we have... Can we... We can't buy this. I already used my thingy, so... I'm kind of... I kind of want to use these, though, now, gonna lie. Just randomly pull... Like, two pulls. You never know what's gonna happen. Uh... Should we pull here? Wait, no. No, it's it's here. This is for this. So let's try individual ones. Oh! Favonia's great sword. Damn, that's crazy. Let's do it again. Nothing. Okay. I think I have three of those, by the way. <laughs> Uh, we got, we got four pulls, um, I think, no, wait, hold on, I can probably get one more, I can probably get one more, I just need to, I need to find, hold on, chat, 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 chat. I have this, can we open these, can we find these? Can you help me? Can you help me find these? I have to- Oh, I'm gonna drown. I have to go to Monsat. I have to go to Monsat. Which one do I replace? Cass is not here. I think... I think it's gonna be Fischl. Kaya? Is it Kaya? I have to replace- Okay. Look at him, he's so cool! Thank you for permitting. No, inviting me to join you. Oh my god! Hydro Pump! Ah! And that's how Shang Li disappear from the face of Earth. Let's level up. Nice. Can I... Oh, I can already ascend him too. Let's go. I don't care. Max. I'm going to max him out. I don't care if I use all my books. I'm going to max him out. Yes. Oh, I can't ascend him again. Oh, are these... Where can I find these? Fontaine? Okay, I guess he's gonna stay level 40 until I pass Fontaine. Uh, let's see. Weapons. 
Oh, he uses books. I don't have a good book. I don't have a good book. Which one's good, chat? Which one should I... Which one of these is, is decent? Craft prototype amber? Oh, okay, I can do that. Let's go to Mondstadt first. We have some things to do. We do have to go back to Mondstadt because I need you guys to help me find uh, the three thingies. God, he looks so cool. He looks just like Cass too. No, uh, I'd like to have something made. This one, right? Mapa Mare? Where is it, this one? Prototype Amber. Okay. It's a fission material. What do you mean? <gasps> It requires 50 of these that I cannot make. I have to find. That's fine. It's okay, chat. It's okay. It's okay. In the meantime, though, I need to give him something in the meantime. That'll definitely be my goal. Because uh, I don't think I'll find 50. Not today. Switch. This one, right? I think this one's good. Or maybe this one? Yeah. We'll just have this one. I'm going to enhance it just, just for the sake of it. No, not enhance it. Refine it. Yeah, just for the sake of it for now. This is the one that I'm going to use. I'm going to level it too. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. How do I go back? Hands. There you go. Two stars. Alright. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I don't want to ascend it. We'll keep it like that. Actually, I just remembered that I can do this here. And get a free wish. Because why not? Then let's give him some artifacts too. Uh, switch. Uh, we swapped out. We can just give him HP, right? You said HP is good. This is, all of these is just like... Not really that good. It's fine. Uh... HP percentage. This one seems good though then. 3.2? For now. For now, I believe this one might be good. Oh! No, 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 no. I just want to equip it. Yes. This one's actually... Is it this one? No, this one's fine. Uh, There's one that actually does like... Hydro damage. Ooh, this one looks good. No, this one. There you go. Geo damage. This one does hydro damage. I think maybe I should give him this one. And because I'm going to use him as DPS and not Chincho, right? Yeah. This one gives me energy recharge. Attack. 
Crit, crit. HP. I think I might use this one, or maybe there's a better one here. This one gives me HP percentage, which is not bad. I think I'll just go with this one for now. Yeah. I'm not going to level them up because I can't yet. What else am I missing here? What can he do? Constellations? Uh, profile. I think for now that's good. No. Okay, now I need your help. Can you level the talents? What, is, what do the talents do? Talents? I can't. I need those, I need scrolls, and I don't have those. Near the animal cube. Near the animal cube. Animal cube is right here. Yeah, I need Fontaine books for that, so it's going to take a while for me to get there. Probably like three more streams. I don't know how long Inazuma is going to be. <laughs> Damn, this guy's so cool. So somewhere, somewhere around here, right? Oh, I already got this one. It's going to take a lot more time, Lucy, yeah. I'm going to probably have to do it off-stream. Sometimes. There's two near the bridge of Mondstadt. You mean like this bridge? If they're here, then I probably already got them. I can TP to Mondstadt, uh, to Fontaine. I don't have the Fontaine TP, so I can't go right now. Uh Starnatch Cliff. Starnatch Cliff. Let's go there then. Like this way? Let's see. I kind of don't do that much damage yet, but that's pretty good. That's pretty impressive. Oh my god. What are these things? <laughs> that's so dumb. That's actually so dumb. Um, is it this way? The balls heal him. Oh. Like, do I have to grab the balls or... Wait, no, that sounds terrible. What do I do with the balls? belongs to whoever finds it first. Okay, so one random bush here. It's fine, nobody cares. Actually, I can buy another one. Another random wish. Uh, 
And then, uh, I guess we got... I guess we got, uh, five wishes. Five wishes. And I wonder if I should just keep pulling here. What's my pity? Zero. I, it just restarts, right? It restarts, right? What do you mean, nine pity? Doesn't it restart? He was the first pull on the ten pull. Oh, so I've got nine pity. That's what you mean. You want me to try for Kasuha? Yeah, I can try. I mean, it's just five. Five pulls. I don't think I'm going to get him, though. But... And, uh, two more. And one more. There you go. <clears throat> Next time, uh, we play Genshin, I'm gonna be pulling on this banner then. Uh, wait, actually? I can buy another one. Random pull! Nothing. This banner gave me the Amos bow and that's it. It never gave me anything else. Uh, I feel like I might also be close on pity if this one builds a pity. That's 10, 20, 30. Yeah, that's it. Like I, I'm a long way to getting, I, I actually got the Amos bow like very early, which is crazy. I did forget, I forgot to give this guy an artifact that he does not have. Uh, yeah, let's give you that one. He's got a weapon. Um, this one, right? This one's like the best one for him. Or is it this one? I think it's this one, right? Sacrificial sword. Oh, I can't ascend it. That's fine, though. I feel like I'm very strong right now. And I'm just going to get stronger from here. Alrighty. Well, that's... That's cool. I, I got him. <laughs> I got... I got Nuva lit. I'm so happy. I'm happy that I didn't have... He's so pretty, bro. Melusines are beautiful creatures. They are the pride of Fontaine. So are be you. Be sure to befriend them and cause them no harm. How does it feel? It feels good. It feels good. It feels like I want to play this game more. Well, 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 well. <laughs> Wow, what a stream. What a stream, everyone. We all ended up winning. We all ended up winning. Let me just pull it here. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. It was such a fun stream. And we ended up getting the character and also some amazing, really cool cutscenes. Honestly, the Genshin story is mm, top notch. I can't wait to visit Inazuma next time. It's going to be a fun time. I see a lot of people talking about Inazuma, so... <laughs> Definitely going to be a really cool, cool thing. Uh, but yeah, I got Nuvalet. Finally. Finally. I got Nuvalet and uh, Kaz got uh, Kazuha, was it? Yeah. Also, Sandy, thank you for the one you gifted. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the Moomba and welcome to the Moomba ship. Wow, ah, it's going to be, it's going to be very, very cool. Thank you so much for tuning in, everyone. It was amazing. It was lovely. It's always lovely having you here. 
And I hope I can see you all tomorrow for some Duolingo. We're going to be practicing some or studying some Japanese and also some comedy, I guess, with uh, Duolingo. It's going to be very, very fun. It's going to be a very, very fun stream. And yeah, I'm excited to speak some some Japanese, I guess. Uh, try to speak some Japanese. I'll see you all tomorrow. So until the next one, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thanks for keeping me company. Thanks for always being so amazing and keep being amazing. Until next one, Lunarists. My dear Lunarists, Johnny.